people distracting me in chat with food talk. What the heck is this? Hey, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Saturday live stream where we are back with RimWorld Biotech. Uh, we've had some fun with Victoria 3 a couple of days this week, but uh, I'm so excited to be back to RimWorld. However, before we jump in, let me tell it, say to everyone a nice little Buongiorno. I know this is not in Italy, but I'm, I'm enjoying that button so much. <laughs> I, I think I should get a whole a whole kind of soundboard thing going on on the channel just to be able to like react with things. My favorite thing to do for like, you know, responding to someone on Twitch or even, or sorry, I meant on Twitter or even on Discord is just respond with like, you know, like memes and things like that, especially like animated GIF versions of memes. Um, <laughs> so this is kind of the same kind of thing over here. How do we know we're not in Italy, right? <coughs> well, because no self-respecting Italian would ever accept this like nutrient paste dispenser as as a dietary thing. <clears throat> yes, yes, I do say I do say GIF. I'm not gonna yell at people who say GIF, but as long as they don't yell at me, it's all good. It's all fine. <clears throat> Rename your settlement to New Little Italy, <laughs> Space Italy. Uh, I mean, it's really not though, like. None of what we're doing here has that kind of vibe, but maybe we could use that as an inspiration later. Although, I guess if this was Space Italy, then I could use this more often. Buongiorno. I don't know. <laughs> Rim Italy, different shapes of nutrient paste equals pasta. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just a big convoluted pasta machine. Gotta make sure we get those uh, those bronze um, like die cutter things though. That's very important for proper Italian pizza. Gotta be bronze cut. Oh, I missed your pun. Doc, I'm sorry. Where was it? Scroll. Scroll. Shit, I still, oh, there it is. Some people can't talk about food if they've signed a non-disclosure agreement. Boo! Boo, oh God, non is delicious. It's like, is non the best part of an Indian meal? No, it's really the combination of non plus something to like, sort of scoop with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Does gnocchi actually count as pasta? That is interesting. Because it's like potato flour, little mini. Could you call it a dumpling? I mean, a lot of dumplings are stuffed, but maybe. Isn't non a common error? Right, N A N, not a number in like some programming languages. Gnocchi is a dumpling, yeah. I mean, sometimes it, like, it, it, it often gets included in the pasta menu at, re at restaurants, partially because it's, you know, also Italian, but also because it's usually paired with a sauce and stuff like that. So it's eaten in a very similar way to pasta, right? It's carbs with a little bit of sauce around it as kind of a thing. So I can see why it's like pasta adjacent. Not is not an error, it's just a value. I guess that's true. I mean, it's a, uh, hey, 69. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm having a great little morning. Feeling good today, which is excellent. Maybe a little bit distractible. Oh, Arkea said a similar thing. Can you share the flatbread recipe? Or do you have a non-disclosure agreement? Um, I believe the recipe I used, so it was completely unleavened. It was two cups of flour, three quarters cup milk, 50 grams butter, uh, heated the milk and the butter together in a microwave to melt the butter in the milk, combined everything up um, with a little bit of salt, uh, knead a little bit, rest for 30 minutes, divide in six, roll out and flatten, throw each piece in the frying pan. It's like a minute per side or something like depends on your temperature, but sort of medium high temperature is where I put it. And it took, yeah, a minute, maybe a little tiny bit more per side. It's all puffy and you get those like cool, like brown spots, like those leopard print spots that you'd see on a tortilla or naan or something. Delicious. Had that with, uh, we actually made wraps, but <clears throat> I'd made chili the night before, but I wasn't happy with the chili. The balance of like sort of spice versus sweetness, it was, it was all a little off and a little bit weird um, to eat as is. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. But so with the flatbread, what I did um, is I, I cut up a bunch of veggies. I uh, matchstick some carrots, some cucumbers. Uh, we had lettuce, uh, tomato, 
some shredded cheese, oh, and uh, pulled chicken. And so what I did is that I personally I smeared on some of the, that like, almost like a barbecue sauce chili, which is what I sort of ended up with. Put a smear of that in there, along with the vegetables and then the pulled chicken, and then just sort of rolled it up. Oh my God, it was amazing. It was so good. Such a good way to like, uh, to, like use the chili that was like, not, it just didn't feel good as like a chili to just eat as is because the flavors were a little too intense. Um, but as a little bit of a spread or sauce inside of a wrap like that, it was so good. Hey, Quill, pay attention. <laughs> you, new subscriber. Oh, new subscriber. You now need to start clipping the recipe bits for Quill Foodie Shorts. Ah, oh, that was a short recipe when I started typing. We're still talking about food. Yeah, sorry. I get, I get too involved in my Quill cuisine. All right, let's, let's go ahead and read the subs and resubs. And we're going to do what we're here to do, which is play video games, right? Yeah, baby. That's the wrong tab. That's the right tab. I hate that, like, when I move to the top of my other screen, it scrolls RimWorld, even if I'm tabbed out. So first of all, we got a new sub from Hateables. Hateables with bringing in the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the channel. We got resubs from Elm at 66 months. Colton DS is at 93 months. Starfire SG1, 70 months at 7-0. And Roadster Tracker, that nice number, 69. Maddox or Mad Dog Mattis is back for their second month. Thank you very much, Mad Dog. Iguana Eddie's at 66. Chinese Chipmunk is at 16. Cool Man and Nacho, 93 months. Have been 93 Monty's already. How you doing? Have rye bread for lunch. Ooh, I do like a good rye bread. With just with a nice spread of butter on it. Maybe a little salmon. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Snavia's at 81 months. Emotive Prime is two months. Another one who's back for a second month. CVD Veer is at 85 months. Hassam is at 49. Nazaki, 95 months. Yeller's at 47. Blissey is at 89. Can't be here for the whole stream because of D&D game. Oh, but happy to be given support. Well, I hope you roll all 20s, unless you're the Dungeon Master, in which case I don't wish that on your players. Shuddy's at 47 months. Burko Blade is at 42. And just now we have BCM, seven months. Thank you very much for that. Let's play video games. So at the end of last stream, well, we did spend some part of last stream um, trying to figure out some things with the kill box because um, we were getting raids that were punching our walls instead. And I couldn't quite figure out why. Um, I guess I've never ended up in a situation where my kill box had like nothing of value in it. Um, one thing I, I don't know if I realized is that raiders don't reevaluate their pathing. Like they spawn on the map, choose a target instantly. Uh, which could be punching a wall and then don't reevaluate until that's done. And I guess it's possible that the Raiders literally spawned when there were no people available. Like when everyone was indoors and otherwise this area well, here had really nothing of value forever. to bait the Raiders. I don't think in like 1200 hours of RimWorld playing, I don't think I've ever ended up with a, a situation where there was literally nothing the Raiders found valuable in the box. I guess they don't even get baited by silver, which I hadn't quite realized. That came as kind of a bit of a surprise. Um, it's possible they did change the weight as well for some of our pawns. Um, but yeah, that's part of it. So anyway, what I'm doing for now is first of all, I've opened this door so that they will see the uh, wind turbine here and they should have that. But I'm also gonna leave open these doors over here. So that should mean that the Raiders definitely feel like they've got something of value to path to. Uh, so they should funnel through the kill box at this point. Um, but yeah, I ran some tests. Uh, I reverted to 1.3 and built basically the equivalent base. I was actually able to use the exact same map seed, um, but I couldn't just load this save in 1.3. I built an equivalent base and ran some tests. It does feel like maybe the weights how valuable a pawn is might be slightly tweaked in 1.4 for the purpose of raids, but it looks like the bigger issues, we just really didn't have anyone outside at that time. And I didn't realize they didn't recalculate immediately. Um, so even when I had everyone out here, they were like, well, I'm already decided I'm gonna punch this wall, so I'm gonna keep doing it. So that actually made it a little bit tricky because people weren't going places we expected. But I'm hoping today that won't be as much of an issue with these doors open. And then uh, we're about to finish a geothermal tech and we're gonna build a geothermal generator right here. So that'll definitely keep a high value object in this zone. So we'll see that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do -do 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 -do. So a few more people have come in with the subs. We've got Niles, Niles Egon or Niles Sagan at 30 month. Thank you very much for that. Also some other new subs, we've got Calcifer. Uh, and Counterpart, both remembering to use that Twitch Prime button, which, again, Twitch does not make life easy for that. It doesn't want you, it doesn't encourage you to use it. And yet it's like, 
yeah it's a good way to support we get as a like streamers get just as much money from a twitch prime sub as anything else so you know good to hit that button mm -mm. okay ba -ba 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 -ba. what the heck is an open face pierogi hmm that's a that's an interesting question there Asetia. all right the green wall is jade so um we got we had a was it a jade meteorite or maybe we just had jade in a wall somewhere. I can't remember what it was. No, it was a jade meteorite somewhere over here that landed. Oh, Psychite addiction. Okay. I didn't want to pause, but I want to deal with this in a second. Um, we had a jade meteorite land, so we mined it out. Um, and so we're building some of the walls out of jade because they're worth 10 beauty. Uh, and they count for both cool. sides as well. So it's a good way to add some extra beauty to our home. In fact, um, I'd missed a spot over here. I want to get this because a jade here will count in all four of these rooms. So we're going to get good additional beauty from that. Um, and it's better than keeping it around. Once something is constructed, its value drops by half for the purpose of raids and things. So um, if you've got something like jade kicking around, unless like you're immediately going to sell it, which Honestly, right now, if we had a trade care, man, I would just dump it because I don't want to keep this wealth around. But we may as well construct it because A, it cuts the wealth value down in half for the purpose of raids. And B, we are actually adding value to all these rooms, which is kind of nice. It does look a little bit weird with the green. But yeah, the other thing that'll look weird, we're going to check the subs in just a second, is this. Um, this was actually posted to my uh, room or my um, my subreddit, Quilly. Er, reddit.com slash r slash quill18. Uh, someone had suggested this mod. There's a colorblind mod, which has been added to the collection. So if you follow the link in the what game or the mods, uh, you'll see it in there. Um, and this will, I mean, they're bright colors. They're a little bit garish. No one's gonna deny that. But holy cow, is it ever gonna make my life easier to find resources? It definitely does confirm we do not have Plasteel visible on the map. I think this probably was recommended maybe as, because yesterday, or not yesterday, sorry, last week, last time we played, I was looking around, I was like, do we have Plasteel? Because I'd love to make Plasteel long swords. And I was like squinting and couldn't see it. Anyway, orange here, this is steel. We've got components or compact and machinery, which lead to components. And then a little uranium over here, which we think we did know about the uranium. Um, so likely what we're going to do is we're going to carve out some of this uranium to make uh, uranium maces. We still have uh, we still have this ancient exostrider midsection here that we can use to get a mechanoid transponder so we can start doing mechanoid stuff. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth doing now because I think we might need the mechanoid tech unlocked before like basic mech, mech tech at least to be able to start making mechanoid things. So I'm still going to leave it kind of there. There's a purple by the danger. Oh, yeah, yeah, the uranium. That's, yeah, that's what I was just talking about. Okay. Tribal mechanoids. I mean, it would be kind of cool, actually. Oh, yeah. Let's check out those uh, subs and resubs that are just coming again. Rawdune! Thank you very much for that new sub with Prime. Also, Sparrowhawk, Sparrowhawk is at 70 months. Phantom Crapper is at two months. And Dr. K Pepper at 25. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who's got the psychic addiction? Drunk Shooter. I also, I still love that this drunk shooter's name is drunk shooter because they can't shoot, but they can melee, which makes sense because if they're a drunk shooter, uh, you, yeah, drunk shooter does have chemical interests. So they're always looking to take more drugs and now they're officially addicted to psychite, which should be fine because we are providing people with psychite tea, um, which, uh, turns out I never realized how good psychite tea is other than the risk of addiction. Um, which is always there. There's always a slight risk of addiction. If you just give it to people every two days, um, it's actually pretty good. Did I leave this door open? I didn't mean to do that. Somewhere along my bulk selections probably did that incorrectly. <laughs> drunk shooter knows not to shoot unless he's drunk. <laughs> oh, I missed 20 gift subs. That's what I missed. God, I'm so bad at my freaking job. Tobes my goats. Could be Toby is my goats, but I think it sounds better with Tobe is my goats. Thank you very much for the 20 gift subs to the channel. Thank you so much. God, I'm so bad at my job. Uh, Jace, what's beneath the double strand on the right of map? Right, right here, maybe? A little ancient pipeline section. Just a little bit of garbage that we can clean up. I really wish that vanilla rim world, unmodded rim world, just let you deconstruct all these things. With the tweaks galore mod, which I'm currently not running because technically it does change gameplay. It just enables deconstruction on all this stuff. I hate, like, it'd be fine if you could tag it to like finish it off. 
just tag it to have someone go and punch the shit out of this, right? But you can't. So you gotta manually draft someone, manually right click on the thing, then remember to maybe undraft them after they're done so they don't stand outside forever. Blah. Hey Quill, pay attention, there's a new subscriber. Oh. Du -du -du. Yeah, a bunch of the mods are there. I'm still holding off on allow tools for now, but I'm kind of tempted. Also check the treat stream. Someone said they ordered something, but it didn't pop up. Hang on. I gotta keep scrolling weirdly here. Oh! 14 minutes ago, Zalier sent us a spicy Hawaiian pizza. This pizza also needs all just saying. Z uh, Zalier, thank you. Was that during our Italy talk? And you're, you're trying to think of ways to like offend Italians? Thank you. Stealth treat, yeah. I don't know why it didn't pop up. Maybe there's a broken integration I gotta double check on. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, breach axes are good for destroying any material, so it gets rid of them fast, but I just hate the micro access, the uh, micro part of it. Thank you, Zal. I didn't actually eat breakfast today, and today's a long day, so it's, it's very appreciated. Personally, I schedule tea consumption thrice daily with the recommended dose being three mugs worth. Nine mugs per day. What? This is not equal to tea addiction. Oh, you're talking about regular tea. Mm-hmm. Only weirdness I've had with mods so far, constructors. Oh, con oh, the construction bots can't do the fluffy breakdown maintenance. Oh, okay. Which will probably happen. But he's telling that's the best. It's more to do with the fact that I ordered the same pizza on Thursday with olives and it potentially the best pizza. Okay, see, I usually, when I order a pizza, I'm usually trying to decide because I like that one kind of punchy ingredient. And so usually I'm trying to decide whether I want olives or if I want whole, um, a pineapple. Either way, I want some ingredients to get pop and punch in my mouth. I never thought about combining it, but I was recently um, um, finishing finally uh, Castle, the TV show, which I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, and one of the characters says that their favorite pizza ha is pineapple, olive, and double jalapeno. And I was like, is this a joke? Or is pineapple and olive actually a good combo? I mean, I've tried at some point. But we got an ambrosia sprout over here. Let's go. We're going to do our trick. Trick. I mean, it's a pretty standard thing at this point. Put a little growing zone around it. Turn off the sewing. And then any fully mature plants in here will get cut. This will include the trees. I suppose I could trim this down. Because I really don't want them wasting time with the trees. You know what? Because it's so far away. If it was right next to the base, I'd be like... Sure, chop those tree downs. That that's fine. Let's do that. Um, not even gonna care about the heel root because we're planting our own. Squint mode. I think that's all the ambrosia. Okay, so turn off the sewing again. So yeah, when the ambrosia is fully mature, we'll go and pick it, and we'll see. Pineapple and jalapeno goes really well together. Yeah, because pizza is naturally sort of a little bit greasy, a little bit salty. So adding in the sweet from the pineapple and the hot from the jalapeno is actually like, that's the balance. Just just pineapple and pizza is like, to me, it's not enough. It's You've got to have the heat. <gasps> we have information about the really awesome laser. Yeah, let's, let's, yes. An ancient complex with information about a really awesome laser. Oh, we need that. I forgot to have like a yeah, full world generation. I don't know why I went with 100% world generation. It literally makes like, no difference. 30% world is fine, because you never go that far anyway. And now every time I open the world view, it's going to take longer. Apparently, oh, there was another... Okay, there's another ancient complex, but this is just for looting. Although it might be worth considering running out and do both. Hmm, I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Sausage so pizza olives. Yeah, that's that's one of my go-tos is um, like uh, yeah, spicy sausage, um, and and all of us plus you know maybe maybe a little bit of extra stuff. Sometimes I want some onions on there. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I was do 100%. Never know when I want to launch myself the other side of the world for no reason. <laughs> you do a play where you visit and build a base in each biome. You need to spend one season each, but no more than a year. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, fully nomadic run. Yeah, <laughs> it's Essentia. I mean, like, Essentia's fine with pizza, but yeah, it's never, like, a go-to favorite, as opposed to me, where it's like, hey, I could probably do pizza every day. I'd probably get tired of it, but the thing with, with pizza is you do get more variation. You can you can mix it up, and it's kind of a different dish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, we got more new subs. Uh, Le Munster and Brian B. Shaw, welcome to the channel. And we got 86 month resub from Crispy Off, self titles at 43, Mix Flicks at 47, Amazing Sturdy's back for their second month, and Whole Grown Oats at two months. <laughs> The Stitches at 10, Katie's at 23, Silverfish is at 76. Thank you so much for that. Okay, just waiting. I, I queued up a few construction jobs right before the stream, so I'm kind of waiting for that to finish before we look at the new stuff. I'm very excited for a Devil Strand to grow. Hopefully that won't take too long. Although we've got a Devil Strand harvest coming in here soon. We still have 17 days to protect this monument for, which is fine. We have no power right now, but yeah, hopefully the research finishes relatively soon. Still have multiple research benches, and I'm hoping, I'm still hoping to avoid overcuing too much research so that, yeah, there we go. We have more of it simultaneously. Even if they're not great at research, it's still gonna be lovely. We have another a heavy SMG finishing, which I queued up at the start of the stream. Now, Sarge Draconis actually won't, like, he, Sarge can definitely fight, right? Well, you don't have much in the way of skill, but it's not like you can't violent. But because they're currently unskilled and they are nudist and therefore we'd be happier without armor. I'm gonna leave them unarmed for now. I'm gonna treat Sarge as a pacifist, even though they do have the combat command because they're one of the leaders. What I think I'm gonna, it's gonna do, once uh, they lose this lost researcher role debuff, which is annoying to me, they lost this role to get a different, like, honestly promoted role. I don't know, maybe specifically Cranky because he had the passion for research, but I suspect this just happened. It would be nice if it if it balanced with gained another role. But anyway, I'm gonna leave Sarge nude for now for the plus 20. Once they lose that, I might force them to put some clothes on because the closed um, nudist is only something like minus three. So it's not like the debuff is that much of a big deal. But right now we're appreciating the buff itself. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll throw some armor on there and actually like give them a weapon. Ooh, another masterwork heavy SMG. That's um that's Valinor here, who's our engineer. What's their base? See, their base crafting skill is still only a seven. My God, once they get to double digit, we'll be getting into some legendaries. So Doc is a shooter. There's a little bit of passion for it. So we're gonna go ahead and give Doc the heavy SMG. Ideally, I would like th maybe three Maleers because it's the perfect amount to sort of block a doorway. Um, but because Doc's got passion for it, uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and give them a ranged weapon. Um, Drunk Shooter is definitely the one who's passionate for melee. Uh, and then Zapper, because they've got no skill. And they're a jogger, which is quite good for melee. We're definitely going to be keeping them with melee weapons. Hopefully they can practice. Do you not have a priest for counseling? Uh, we do. I think we tried it. Um, I think Rhyme Pendragon? Yeah. Uh, I think we used the council over here to try to get them to forget and it failed. I think that was the case. You ever knew another run of Factorio? Probably, yeah. I just haven't gotten their itch again, and I feel like there's not... It's, it, you know, the default, unless you heavily mod it, it's still kind of a little samey. I do want to do another one, but it's not like... With RimWorld, we can do a lot of themed runs, and we can't really do that the same in um, in Factorio. Uh, Ovid, thanks for the resub. Do multiple researchers multiply the speed? Well, they each contribute, yeah, their own points. So I don't know. Uh, okay, the geothermal power, because we're a tribal, costs a 6,400 uh, research. Each scientist that's working on it contributes a certain amount of research points uh, per tick. Or or they take a certain amount of time to produce a batch of research. I don't internally how it works. But they, they produce... They, each researcher produces a certain amount of science per hour is the way to look at it. Um, their skill level does obviously have a huge impact on how quickly they produce things. Um, also, if they have the uh, the researcher role, which currently I don't think we've got one, they do get a plus 70% boost to that. Um, Kerminu, you don't have a role. We could consider making you a researcher, but really you're gonna do a bunch of other things. So anyway, yeah, so they all contribute to the science, which is really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. Miss Coco Derp, thanks for the, uh, the sub. Thanks for joining the channel. Um, are you planning on making multiple high-tech benches? A great question. I don't know yet. Um, so yeah, at some point, we're going to start trying to research things that requires a high-tech research bench to be built. Um, and then, uh, as we found out in the, the Cat Cafe thing, um, just having the research bench isn't like unlocks the research, but only the person working at the high-tech bench contributes. The primitive benches don't help anymore. So if we're not researching one of these earlier techs, these simple research benches won't help. The high-tech ones are very, they're more expensive. They take more material to build. So we probably will have multiples, but maybe not right away. We'll see. We'll see. 
Zapper's got to go frenzy. It'd be nice if you could have like two techs in the queue or something like working simultaneously where we're per one person's going to be at the high tech bench researching the high tech one and then people could still work at the primitive one to backfill some tech. All right, Zapper's got a go frenzy, so they're going to move fast, which is always appreciated. And a psychic soothe. That's really great. Yeah, I think we will build multiple research benches, just maybe not away right away. Legendary wooden dresser, Valinor, thank you so much. And a masterwork. What kind of art we got on this wooden dresser over here? Oh, that's the masterwork one. Legendary. No V43XVN. An engraving on this furniture shows an overwhelming force brandishing rockets. Drunk Shooter stands as tall as a building, flexing his muscles. The depiction tells the story of an assault on Drunk Shooter's settlement on the 12th of August, 5501. It's interesting that it talks about Drunk Shooter's settlement because it's, I mean, it's our settlement, it's Valinor made it, but I guess the Valinor is, uh, is immortalizing Drunk Shooter's help in defending. That is great. Bum, bum. Do you have a plan for when you're gonna start your, oh, Football Manager run? Do you have a team idea? Yeah, so Football Manager 23 is, is due out. And actually, uh, it's gonna be on um, the Xbox Game Pass, which is nice as well. I'm sure we'll revisit it uh, at some point. I might try something other than air. I don't know, it's hard. Menaces with spikes of rockets. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. There we go. Finish that geothermal tech for me, baby. We need more purr, and we can tear down some things. Which I'm just realizing now, I was, I queued up, hang on, let's queue up something else. Uh, what do I need to do the mech tech? Does this need the high tech research bench? Oh, we need a mechanator colonist to start. Oh, okay. Well then that might be worthwhile, but before we do that, Extract ovum for IVF. How do we actually do the in vitro fertilization? Because, yeah, Doc Villain had done a specific request. Because um, Doc Villain is, uh, right, uh, they are engaged, drunk shooter, and they are trying for baby. But the problem is that um, Doc Villain is a little bit older and there is a drop in fertility. So Doc Villain is uh, 41 and 13 days, so 41 years old. I don't know where the fertility number settings are set in um, in Wormworld, but uh, Doc had quite a significant drop to her fertility here at 41. Uh, so I'm guessing, just based on this, I'm betting it like maybe from 35, you get a dip. I haven't checked the wiki. Someone's probably like gone into the files to figure it out. But the fact that we're only 8% fertile at 41 makes me think the decay starts maybe at something like 35 or something. Um, so yeah, Doc Villain's chance of getting pregnant is fairly low, but gosh darn it, they're gonna keep trying. I mean, I guess it's not the worst. Eventually she'll get pregnant. You have a feeling it dropped 1% in the last stream? That's possible, I mean, it could have been 9% before. Tempting IVF without a proper lab, let alone hospital sounds legit, yeah. After egg extract, you can use colonists to fertilize. Um, Doc Villain's older shades of Dr. Pulaski. It's a Star Trek Next Generation reference? I don't know. Um, okay, so we're not creating more guns right now. That's fine. Oh, rare thrombos. Do I? Oh, I kind of do want to try taking it on. Oh, they're, I'm probably just going to get some people killed. Zapper's fast, right? Jogger. So theoretically, we might be able to get Zapper to kite the thrombos. Save and try it. Okay, just in case we accidentally wipe the entire colony. You know? You know, a maiming or two, that's fine. Losing the entire colony because I'm incompetent at micro, that's not ideal. Where's Zapper? Okay, get your ass over here. Binding pulse as well, but that's not really... Oops. Okay, her. What I need to do is I need to pull back my shooters just to make sure that they re-go towards Zapper. And I'm still going for Kerminu. I mean, I suppose Kerminu could also break off to do some cutting. What are you doing for? And Valinor. No one's going for the melee. I started too early.
Oh shit. You're going for Doc Villain. God, I can't micro. Run, Kerminu. You going for Zapper? Thank you. Keep that up. Okay, you're down. Great. Get a little closer. Let's do that. Run, Valinor. Run. Run! Oh my god, that bleeding. Oh, Valinor's down. How's Slamebeard doing? Okay, no missing body parts, nine hours. They're actually in better shape than Valinor. You dropping early probably saved your life. Okay, I'm betting they're gonna redirect towards Zapper now. Yes, perfect. Run, Zapper! Okay, I, th I think I just started shooting way too early. So that was a bit of a noopsie doodle. Kermino, please rescue Flamebeard. Zapper, since you're still fast. Oh, Doc Villain. Actually, that's perfect, because Doc Villain is um is fast. Doc Villain has a bionic leg? No. Oh, Doc Villain has genetic uh, genetic increased speed. So Doc's going to be fast for the rescue, and then we'll be in the right place for the rescue as well. Uh, this person's not actually dead yet, so we're going to want to finish you off. Let's let you eat your meals. What are these meals that you're eating? Oh, packaged survival meals. Oh, they're dark red because they're all meat, right? I don't know, something like that. You, too. Come over here. Ah, it's back up! No! Okay. Doc, let me just check up on you. Where are you, Doc? Are you doing treatments? Okay, good. God, these things are tough. All right, get a little... Actually... Let's just say get a little closer for accuracy. You know what? Keep training your shooting. No! Oh! Okay. A hunter came over to finish it off. Because <laughs> I'd flagged it for hunting. All right. Need a research project. Got a little distracted by things. Um, you know what? We're going to have power from our geothermal. Let's research the turrets. And speaking of... Oh, fertility treatments. Yeah, maybe, but hold on. Let's go for safety first. Get a geothermal ready to go over here. Okay. Whew! Flamebeard is still bleeding. Doc, what are you doing? Okay, you're, you're tending to Flamebeard. I mean, you took a while. All right. Cross your fingers for no infections. Valinor is at least in a nice sterile space here. Oh, we do need an extra leg. Does someone, did someone lose a leg here? Or did, had someone already lost a leg? Oh, Valinor's lost a leg. Yeah, okay. You know what the advantage of prosthetics are as well. I mean, we could place with a peg leg, um, which is gonna be enough to satisfy the, um, our, our transhumanists, which is what our faction is. Um, but yeah, so no matter what, we're gonna get a mood buff. And then, yeah, we'll go to prosthetics just for extra little mobility. <laughs> Training them is hard, but you can tame breed them uh, without too much investment. Yeah, the uh, the thrombos, they are hard to tame. You need a high base skill. And even with that, there's a good chance of fail. Um, it's great if you get the taming inspiration, although you you do need to combine the taming inspiration with still someone who's got a high enough base skill. Mad squirrel. So this is not a Scaria one. They will eventually stop when they go to sleep or whatever. I'm just going to forbid this door and that door just to... Well, then someone will take the long way around to do something out here. What do I want to do? Ooh, scout. Okay, your outside is not really where we wanted you to be. Is the squirrel still out there? Oh, it may not be mad anymore. Because I think there's a symbol next to it. Oh, it's still... Build a wall around them, wait for tame inspiration. Yeah. Now that's an idea. Good 
jump. Okay. Yeah, no, they're hard to tame and eat loads, but potentially limit the slow supply of hyperweave to eleven. Yeah, the thrombo fur is like, yeah, it's it's sick. It's as good as hyperweave. It's insanely good. Yeah, uh, the doors. This is something I, I learned watching. Um, well, I mean, we did some of this before, but I've become more explicit of it. Uh, watching a little bit of uh, adverse and everything as a reminder of some like good techniques. The advantage of this is if a mat, if if someone walks through this, let's say they're being chased by a manhunter, and they walk through a door, the manhunting animals will attack the door. Now they'll only attack it for like a minute or something. They won't attack for very long, but they might be able to smash through the door, and then all of a sudden the manhunter's inside your base. But here, if they smash the first door, then they just see another door, and they didn't actually see someone walk through there, so the manhunting animals won't try to smash their way through the second door. And that's why you've got that. I mean, I've always built like, a lot of times um, when I'm like well wrapped up, uh, you'd see me before building like a tunnel and then like put like three or four doors in there. Now that was partially to dissuade some like, just slow down sappers and things more, but that was always the idea. Now, uh, the big thing is like, oh yeah, this is a great way to save some material. I was, cause I've always talked before, like diagonals enclose a room, right? But this, even though it looks derpy as hell, so there's a little room inside here. And yeah, this is this is a nice sealed airlock. I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a good way to do it, to save some materials. Construct that. Construct this. In hindsight, because I'm about to tear down the wind turbine when the geothermal goes up, but so that's why I didn't have the airlock here, even though I kept trying to rebuild it a few hey, times. Quill, pay but, attention. There's a new um, I'll move this anyway, because who knows? Ported Oasis. Thanks for joining the channel. <laughs> Sent max skill animal handlers out to train thrombos without inspiration, chance something like 3%. Yeah, it's really low. Basically, you do need the inspiration. Randy, I think, can have, like, thrombos just join your colony sometimes, right? Because you can always have a random animal just join you. Listen, um, I'm going to get you to... I mean, I'm going to have to get you up out of bed there, Valinor. And I know you've got the bum leg. Okay. You can go back to bed now. I'm just going to let a hauler bring that over. How do you do it? No, you're actually fine. Now, come over here and uh, finish that now. That's going to be okay. No one got an infection, which is really nice. And yeah, we'll get you a proper leg. Could replace the wooden traps with stone. So wood, stone traps do more damage than wood. Steel does does more. Um, I uh, used to build stone traps a lot because they do do pretty good damage. The problem is they do take forever to build and to rebuild. So um, I, I stopped doing stone traps just because they were so damn slow. Sometimes what I'll do is in the sort of last line of defense like here. Here I will use stone or actually steel for like last minute maximum damage but in my kill tunnel i'm just using wood these days because it's so much faster to build otherwise it feels like they do forever but yeah the inner ones like these might be stone or even steel later just to make sure uh if when we build our turrets I'd like put maybe like a little trap in front of each one as well yeah wood is renewable yeah we have a on this map we have an infinite supply of wood which is great and it like just saves time. So the wood is gonna kill animals and tribals really easy. People with armor don't tend to get affected the same way. And mechanoids, I mean, it'll still, you know, take out scythers, although usually they'll take more than one hit. We can just make it longer as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I had a mod for walls with holes. Oh, like embrasures or whatever they were called. I mean, I think uh, Combat Extended includes that by default, but yeah, it's also mods that added. It's pretty nice to be able to like shoot through a wall where people can't actually walk through, but none of that in vanilla, no. It's probably my best, my favorite RimWorld song. It's such a banger. Oh, I should probably check the... Pe well, um... I so I should check the pizza. I know what Sencha's in here, though. She's probably already doing that for me. If you're, if not, I can, I can get up in a second here, Sencha, and check to see if the pizza has arrived. I just don't want to duplicate efforts if you've just checked. Firefly theme song intensifies. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. The uh, gotta get up and check now. Thanks, Sencha. Um, this game was heavily inspired by Dwarf Fortress, Prison Architect, and RimWorld. Uh, P music does sound really cool. Yeah. I, I need to double check to make sure there's no um, there's no copyright issues with it. But yeah, it's actually really good. It adds a lot of tunes that sound like, they sound exactly like the RimWorld soundtrack, but they fit perfectly. Okay, prosthetics is done. We're gonna check out. Let me get a couple
couple of gun turrets up. Let me just research gun operations, then we're gonna go into fertility. We'll have all the basics set up at that point, and then we're, yeah, we're gonna go into more gene modification if we can. Sorry, did I say inspired by RimWorld? I meant Firefly. Dwarf Fortress, Prison Architect, Firefly is what I meant to say. Can I draw? It is copyright free, okay. Yeah, I was gonna upload a couple of uh, test videos. Sarge Dragonis tried to flirt with Kerminu by drawing attention to his own origins. Kerminu responded well as now Sarge Dragonis' lover. They would like to share a bed. Now that's interesting. So let's take a look. Kerminu, I believe is a baseline human because they were a late game uh, recruit, yes. And Star Dragonus is as well, actually. So there's gonna be no genetic boost over there, unfortunately. But, so Sarge is 28, Kerminu is 31. Let's check her fertility. I suspect it's 100%. No, 73%. Whoa! Okay, RimWorld might be doing a like peak fertility at like 25 or something like that. I assumed, you know, because I'm used to thinking of it from um, from Crusader Kings, where everyone has 100% fertility until an age, and then starts to drop off uh, fairly quickly to zero. But yeah, okay, that, hmm. Still, 73% is pretty high. Now, do we encourage them to have babies? Despite the fact that they have no strong genetic material. I don't think I want to discourage them. I'm still thinking about encouraging them because I want to get into, like, the baby stuff. Okay, Beats is here. Thank you. Do, do, do. I mean, we want to we, we, we want to see what happens with babies, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yes, you guys are gonna try for baby, but we're gonna have to get a bedroom for you. Um, that's an excellent bed. I don't really want to deconstruct. Okay, I know Carmino's room is already here. I'm going to deconstruct one of the good beds. And build a double bed there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'll probably install P Music because it's really nice. All right. And build copy. I don't think darkness affects quality. I think it only affects the time to build. Wow, that was fast. An excellent double bed. All right. Kerminu and Sarge. Don't know why I couldn't see you. There you are. Valinor. Oh, work faster. Okay. Thought, I was hoping it was gonna be like the creativity inspiration. I don't know nothing about birth and no babies. Yeah, we might want a proper hospital built. Uh, we do have a sterile tile over here. Like, we have a mini hospital before we start making babies. Yeah, probably will do that. Actually, I should have just moved the good bed over here in hindsight. In butt sight. Well, at least we've got the one bed. That's going to be okay. Right, I'm going to get the pizza in one second, I promise. We're going to get a lamp in here. I still was hoping to do a hospital a little closer to the center of things for convenience, but we've got we've got this set up for now, so we'll just do it over here. That's gonna be okay. For medicine, I think we've only got herbals. Oh no, we do have some industrial medicine and some glitter world, which is good. Maybe once uh, when a time to time to give birth, we'll uh, add extra proper medicine in there. Mm -hmm. um, but mad boom rat. Okay, I'm gonna pause. We're gonna go and get grab the pizza. Oh, that's a lot of boom rats. Now, they should run through the trap over here and mostly explode everything. But I will go and get my range people over here. And then we'll have to put out some fire. Double door to hot. It's just because we expand. Uh, the, our rooms weren't the right size. We, we drawn this incorrectly. I just haven't gotten around to, like, replacing this and deconstructing stuff. Because I don't want to have non-sterile floor. So that's all. It, we, it, this wall was built wrong. I had to shuffle everything over. I fixed this wall over here. This is just a remnant from that. And I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to have to build more sterile tiles yet. That's literally all. Okay. Yeah, man hunting explodos. I'll be right back with my pizza.
Dino. Woohoo! Chair hype! Wait, you almost on my pajamas. I mean, no, I'm totally wearing, you know, work appropriate slacks and everything, like a professional. Everyone to the wall area, just to make sure no one walks outside. Sarge is locked to the wall area because they're unarmed. I'd love to put out this fire as quickly as... Flamebeard, no! Also... I want to re-equip that gun, please. Valinor, same with you. Equip the machine pistol. Yeah, they want to put out the fire because it's home zone, which makes sense. another one there. Okay. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Alright, you guys can go fight the fires now. Woohoo! We're closing your own home. Uh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Replacing the fence posts with stone ones so they don't burn the same way. Sounds great. Alright, let's have a slice. Guys, it's a pizza party. a well-balanced pizza. You know what? I'll try to add one. Pineapple olives for next time. We can experiment together. Mmm. Mmm. That was good. This place where this pizza is from, Red Swan, is interesting. Because it actually has a sesame seed crust. And it works so well. I thought that sounds so weird. <clears throat> yeah, I know the mic's far away. <coughs> I just had to try it once as an experiment. Because it sounded so bizarre. And it's like, oh no, this is really good. So we do have a solar flare. Which isn't the end of the world. We're not massively dependent on power right now. Other than for food. But we don't have a refrigerator. We don't have turrets. It's going to be fine. They can't use the nutrient paste dispenser right now. But that's one of the reasons we keep some survival meals around. And the uh, solar flare only lasts for like a day. Mm. Perfect. Now, um, one of the things, I think, I still have memories of old school RimWorld where sometimes certain things would last a really long time. I think, like, especially talks Fallout and stuff like that, I think the way it used to work is there was just a percentage chance each tick or hour or each day or whatever that it would end. And sometimes you'd get screwed and it would last forever. Um, I know the talks of Fallout, sometimes you'd get it and it would last, like, a year. It was crazy, because I think it was just a chance of going away. Oh! I still have everyone walled in. Forgot about that. Or maybe Fallout just had a really long duration, but I think it had, like, a percentage chance to end, and sometimes you just rolled really bad. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it was never like that. But now, definitely the Fallout has a, uh, has a definite time limit. That is, I think it's 2.5 to 12 days, or 5 to 12 days, something like that. Okay, that's done. I got some more subs coming in. Just clear this off, because I don't want people cleaning in unnecessary areas. Okay. Reese's Pieces Ray, thanks for the uh, the sub, thanks for joining the channel. Porter to Oasis as well, I don't think I properly acknowledge you, thank you so much for that. <laughs> Sexy Flanders here for 20 months, very nice. I run that one YouTube Let's Play with super long talks of Fallout. And you don't mean the permanent talks of Fallout. Right, yeah. Yeah. Because I did do one Let's Play that had a permanent talks of Fallout as, as the vibe. Which work even better now with, like, the uh, Xenohumans. Because we could actually have, like... We could do, like, a Fallout, like, ghoul faction that loves the pollution. I mean, there's already kind of the wasters of the built-in thing. But yeah, we had one where it lasted forever. 
here, it's never too bad. I think 12 days is the cap. No, I know I didn't reset the last pawn. Uh, Sarge Dragonus, they are naked because they're a nudist. And they also don't carry a weapon because I don't currently need them to fight right now. And they're not good at it. So I want to leave them in the walled areas. We have a pet rhino. Do I want to attack rhino? Who's our best animal handler? Nine. Minimum handling skill, nine. Like, my first instinct is just to, like, just butcher it for me and not worry about things. But I kind of want to see what we can do with it. Because I've never really done it. Let's train an attack rhino. So obviously, uh, so Drunk Shooter is going to be spending a lot of time training up an attack rhino. And then all of a sudden, Drunk Shooter, who's a melee'er, having a attack rhino to help them at their side, sounds pretty good. And if we're gonna keep it and, and use it, we gotta name it. So let me go into my name queue here. I'm gonna grab someone from the high priority queue. It is Bunisher. Bunisher the attack rhino. Although maybe it should be Rhinoceros Maximus. But Bunisher, yeah, Bunisher. He's the Punisher, the Bunisher. Could be the Rhinosher. I don't know. Bunisher it is. He, he does have a big old buns in the back here. So sure, that kind of fits. Um, So we are going to try to keep you within the walled area, Bunisher. Please only roam around there. Now, Bunisher probably will eat some of our cooked meal. Well, it'd be survival meals. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Meals over there. I suppose I could restrict... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to designate a zone for the pen. And maybe we'll leave you there. So you don't eat all the meals. Okay. Let's keep you over there. There's always going to be a supply of kibble ready to go. Oh, I was going to say, why is Valor grabbing kibble? Oh, because you're consuming kibble! Wait, but the power's back. What, you, Valinor, what the hell, man? Maybe he moved so slow, or she moved so slow, that she started walking towards the kibble before the power came back. Carmino's pregnant. That happened fast. I mean, which I guess makes sense, because we were 70 plus, 400% ch chance boost. Okay, we have our first pregnancy, you guys. So, it's going to take uh, 18 days, divided in three trimesters, uh, by default. You can change those settings to get hungrier more. Okay, you children. <laughs> yeah, but then that way we can build an infant tree. An infant tree. Caravan to launch... This is what, make things? Make 36 kids shirts. I don't think we have the material for that. Gold, plasteel, animal skill trainer... Excellent recon armor. Oh, shit. Wall razor, reprocessor stomach, neuro calculator, doomsday rocket launcher. I mean, you know, our people do want modifications. Recon. This is really good, but I don't like. Yeah, we just don't have material. I would love to say yes to that. Wait, you can inspect baby jeans. Oh. Neat. Is that from my mod? Let me do that. Is that from the HUD mod? Or is that just built in? That must be built in. Yeah, HUD mod turned off. Huh. But yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be normal, because it's two baseliners over here, so we're just gonna get another baseliner kit. So they're gonna be Yeah, they're both white. They both have dark hair, actually, so mid-black hair kinda makes sense. How much material do kids' clothes take? I mean, I guess that's a question that should probably be answered. It's kids' shirts, right? 20 fabric or leather. Yeah, so we can make 17. 
Oh, more than that, because we do have the leather. Let's try it. I really would love recon armor at this stage in the game. Oh, a bunch of that is a thrumble fur. That's a good point. Now, speaking of, uh, so... Yeah, we don't currently allow the thrombo fur for the shirts or the pants. And dusters can be made out of... Oh, these are fancy dusters that do include thrombo fur in the list. Okay, so right now the thrombo fur will be used exclusively for new dusters as people need them. We could butcher more stuff. We have some cotton about to come in. We could trade for more cloth. Okay, let's... I mean, we'll accept it. I suppose there's no... Um, Actually, I should wait as long as possible, because after we accept it, we will then have a certain amount of time to deliver. So I want to stretch this out as much as possible. Th so 36 kids' shirts. I'm going to put in a bill for kids' shirt. I'm going to not allow any of this good stuff, and also not the thrombo fur. There you go. Don't use any good material for it. I'm going to say, do until we have X, where X is 36... And they have to be at least normal quality and only count the allowed ingredients. Well, let's get started on it. And yeah, maybe we can trade for what we've got missing. We should have a long time to do this. Plus, we're going to get more material coming in. The big thing is where the hell we're going to put all these things. It's definitely going to fill up our stockpile. I guess I should get some more shelves up. What I'm going to do here is, once again, I'm going to turn off Valinor's construction. And I'm just going to boost it for Kirmoon and Zapper. Actually, Zapper's surprisingly decent. Never mind, turn that off. Kirminu. I want, I want kind of shit uh, shelves here, because I don't want to add a lot of wealth. But it's also sort of a good excuse to train. I mean, I could literally use someone with, like, the worst skill. But this way, we do get a little bit of training on someone who might be a backup constructor. So we'll get those. Because what we're doing, for each shelf we put down, we're tripling the storage capacity of those two tiles. So we'll fit more in there. Right now, the stockpile zone over here, I did set it to low priority, so things will go there last. The Valinor still needs a leg. That's true. Did we research the prosthetics? No, we're still researching. Oh, no, we're researching gun turrets. Okay, are the prosthetic legs here? Yes. Make prosthetic leg. Here. I don't think quality is a thing. For legs, but Valinor, why don't you build your own leg? See ya, pussy! Oh yeah, that's fine. And then we have these thrumble horns. Now, I believe thrumble horns are exceptionally good melee weapons. So, 10.5 melee damage, 41 penetration. If we compare that... To the jade knife. Yeah, it does twice as much damage and twice as much penetration. So, Zapper, I'm going to actually equip the Thrombo Horn, and then I'll get Drunk Shooter to do the same. Now, we might want to sell them because they're quite valuable, but for now, they're excellent melee weapons. Thrombo Horns used to do 30. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, the Thrombo Meat rotting away. Like, I don't have anything that I want to do with it. I suppose what I could do, it would be nice if you could prioritize, like, Put meat in here first, and if you don't have it, do something else. Um, I do believe we have a job that, if we've got any hay... Oh, no, we do have a kibble limit. You know what? Maybe I should just unforbid. Like, or unlimit this. If you... Because it'll only do it while we have hay. We have a lot of hay, and then convert, make a ton of kibble. Nah, I don't care. We killed the thrombos for the, um, for the fur and for the horns. Go to a thousand kibble. I suppose we could. We could build the freezer, but right now, I mean, we didn't have a lot of power. Um, we were still waiting for the geothermal to be done. All the material has been dropped there. I suppose, actually, I would want Valinor to construct this. I thought there was no construction queued up. Here, Munu. Oh, you're constructing this. Okay. Yeah. Make the shelves and shit. Do that, and then we'll do this. I didn't want the freezer because we didn't have the uh, the power, and I didn't really need to uh, to preserve the uh, the meat. 
Uh, I don't think you can put hay in the nutrient paste this winter. I'm not sure though, but I feel like the answer is no. Oh, we do have the rhino. Yeah, and they're gonna need more. So we should increase the limit no matter what. Uh, 75 per stack. So that's why we're keeping two stacks. Let's increase that to four stacks, six stacks. Let's keep six stacks of kibble. Who's our chief cook? Doc Villain? Consuming nutrient paste. Well, I guess I'll let you do that. And then once you're done that, I'm gonna get you to come over here and do some butchering. Six stacks is one shelf. That's true. Can, I wonder if they can just feed themselves off a shelf. They used to be able to. I bet you they still can. Hemic Hulk. Intercepted. Oh, this is different. This is new. You have intercepted a stress signal. A hostile shuttle carrying a sanguifage master, i.e. a vampire, and three thralls having trouble with its engines. You can use the signals to draw it down to a crash near the House of Evolution. Once the ship's crash, you can fight the sanguifage and his minion. If you can capture the master, you can force him to turn one of your colonists into a sanguifage. I mean, I can't, yeah, we, we have to. I mean, come on. Need one for the daycare, exactly. We need our vampire daycare set up. What we should actually do, first of all, I'm gonna accept. Did I change the preference? Yeah, okay, I don't want goodwill, I don't want honor, I just want other rewards. So our best socializer is Sarge Dragonis. So they'd make a great childcare person, despite being a nudist. Maybe we should turn Sarge into a vampire. Yeah, I know we need some blood. We'll see, okay. Um, wait, are they dropping on the map? Oh, crash shuttle, there it is. They'll ex exit the crash ship and prepare to fight. What kind of gear are they packing? I don't know. Well, let's grab everyone who's armed, even though it includes Valinor, who's very slow right now. Oh, they do have some decent weapons. I'm assuming they're gonna stick by here. Yeah, they're they're doing the thing where they're sticking by there. They're not gonna walk into our kill box. Which fair. Now we like to encourage them at sort of short range. Okay, actually, leave you here. Let me take all the range people. And get you clumped up over here. Interesting. They're really not making a move forward. Oh. Uh, Rhyme, are you even good at shooting? Oh, yeah, surely you're pretty good at shooting. We're really not going to have much in the way of cover in most of these places. This is a good cover. And actually, as it turns out, we can put someone right there, and that's going to be okay. I guess we'll use some of these trees as cover. They're not fantastic, but they'll do. Oh, select the poplar tree. Doc Villain is what I want to select. Put you there. Oh, now they're assaulting. Oh, that's great. Well then, by all means, follow me to my kill box. <laughs> All right, excellent. Lovely. So which one is the Wempire? Um, I guess the bio, huh? Baseliner, baseliner, sanguifage. Spiff is the Wempire. Okay. Man, I don't think I'm gonna do any special targeting. I'll just down whoever we can down. Headshot. Nice. All right, here's a vampire. So they're gonna be they're gonna be tougher. They can also get some powers. Genes regrowing. Extract their genes while they're growing to kill them. 
Okay. The rest of them are fleeing. Spiff did not die. They're death resting. They've lost their stomach, so they're gonna get hungry super fast, which is annoying. Oh, they're immortal. You can't actually kill them. They always death rest. Is that is that the way they work? Yeah. Look at how many genes they've got, right? Uh, where's that death rest? Deathless. Archites sustain their life process no matter what. As long as the brain remains intact, a carrier of this gene will never die. What happens if you shoot them in the head? I guess you, it's probably possible to destroy their head and then they die. But otherwise, they're not going to die. Okay. Well, we have a little uh, head there. Let's go and unrecruit you guys. Unrecruit you. Actually, I guess I'll unrecruit everyone. So you can still capture. They're unwaveringly loyal. So we can't convert them. Force them. How do we force them to turn one of my people? Well, let's capture them and see what happens. Because it says if you capture them, a thing will happen. But yeah, there is absorb. So is that it? Is that. We're just. Hold on. If I just send Sarge Dragonas here to absorb the Xenogerm, is that it? Currently regrowing. If he implants the Xenogerm before his genes are regrowing, it will kill him. Right, okay. Because I had seen this. So we could wait, presumably, a year and a bit and then we'll keep this person alive. Do we actually want to keep Spiff around? Oh, we can't convert them, so no. I mean, we could keep them trapped forever and then do it over and over, but I don't think that's worthwhile. So yeah, we're just gonna have Sarge come over here and just absorb the, the genes and kill them. All right, let's do it. Oh, actually, Sarge, come over here, uh, strip them. There we go. And then ship clip the absorb. And right, our new vampire can sire more. That's true. All right, Sarge. Do you have a baseline? Hold on. Sarge is married to Kerminu. Okay, these genes are not inheritable. This symbol here, so this sort of soft hex is inheritable genes, these are not. So, um, in fact, can you even make babies or are you sterile at this point? I don't see anything in here. So presumably, Sarge is still gonna be able to make regular babies. Dialogue needs a search box, maybe. Well, we'll see. Vampires can't have children. Okay, so Sarge went and consumed that. Xeno Germinator coma for two days. Okay, but Sarge is now a, dwa uh, a vampire. Vampire. Kerminu. Let's go and uh, rescue Sarge. And yeah, we can keep absorbing if we wanted to, but we ain't gonna. Um, could right click to allow all, but I still don't want to, like, allow a random rabbit on the far side of the map. Okay, content nothing. That's going to get deconstructed. I think that's everything. Need death rest tech. Oh yeah, is that that's to make like the fancy coffins and shit, right? So yeah, we have a little bit of blood now. Um, I think we can extract blood from people as like an operation. We can also do it from prisoners. Yeah, extract hemogen. So we can... Uh, if we run out of blood, we can have some blood donors here for Sarge. Vampire babies do not sound like a good idea. They worked in Twilight. I don't know what you're talking about. Does the blood need to be in the fridge? Um, I don't think so. It does need to be indoors, but otherwise, no. Drunk, could you? You don't haul. Of course you don't haul. Valinor? Well, you're slow. Flamebeard. Let's uh, prioritize hauling this. I mean, more hauling should happen fairly quickly as well. Do, and Valinor, I'm going to get you to upgrade, actually, to this heavy SMG, please. Thank you. Mm, worked in Twilight, not a good justification. Psh, psh. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, are all my shells built? They are all built. Okay, so we're going to go back to um, leaving these guys on a four, just in case. But Valinor is going to go back on construction duty. I'm going to unforbid that. So when Valinor is done resting, they should go and complete the geothermal generator without wasting material, which is going to be nice. Then we'll have lots of power, which is going to be fantastic. Oh, did you finish your leg? I bet you did, actually. 
I might let you finish the construction first. Sleep, finish the construction. A muffalo self-tamed. I think we're going to butcher you. Once you're penned in. Yeah. We already have, like, cows. Buffaloes can give us um, fur or wool, uh, but they're not milkable in vanilla. So I'm not too worried. Randy being generous. Yeah. He's giving us vampires, giving us rhinos, he's giving us moo er, moo bots, buffaloes. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to get you to get up now and work on this because you're going to be in bed again very shortly. God, you build fast. Perfect. Okay. Oh, this got moved and is no longer set to medical. Okay, you're cleaning that, which is good. Okay, let's make this medical. I know it looks like the bed's facing the wrong way, but it's because I want to put a um, um, uh, nightstand next to it later on and have a, a ring, a string of these beds. So this is exactly how it's supposed to be. So, Valinor, you're missing your right leg. So prosthetic, right leg. Right leg, right leg. Great. Hey, Kibber. I'm doing pretty good, thank you. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, that was fast for geothermal. What is, uh... Oh, well, they have the engineer roll, which gives them a 50% construction speed, which is really, really quite good. Yeah. yeah we gotta wait for someone to bring that over. Uh, we have the job for the kids' shirts set up. So, three of them are made. And yeah, at some point, the accepting the quest is going to start counting down. Uh, oh yeah, it's available right over here. But we'll get the warning, then I'll accept it, and then we'll have, you know, as much time as possible to complete it. Even two peg legs. Change the name to Peggy. <laughs> or Vital's Monitor. Yeah, but we can't do that yet because we don't have the tech, right? Because we need hospital bed, like the hospital bed tech, I think, to build the Vital's Monitor. Yeah. I guess we don't actually need the, uh, the nightstand here, because it just increased the speed of rest, which we don't really care as much for the hospital. We do need someone to finish cleaning this room, though. Drunk by... Oh, you're starving. There. Okay, Doc, eat the meal. Oh, Valinor, I'm going to change you to be able to use, like, the bed. I'll, I'll use a glitter world for this. That's fine. Scout, I'm going to get you up right away and just clean this room, please. Why are you bringing the herbal? Let me reset you. Also, clean the whole goddamn room. Clean the dirt. Thank you. Well, admittedly, okay, we don't have, like, all kinds of flooring here, so the dirt does keep showing up inside. As people move in and out like that. We'll need proper flooring over here, but... Kids clothing for a quest. I mean, at some point we're gonna have a baby, so apparently we'll need kids clothing in general. But yeah, when people move from a dirt tile to a clean tile, they have a chance of spreading the dirt, which is what's happening here. This operation was a complete success! And Valinor's gonna be happy at yeah, transhuman it's modded. Nice. Valinor turned into vampire with the regal on the leg. I don't know how that works. Good news, everyone. Okay, so now that that's up, we can get rid of this. And I guess we can deconstruct the battery as well. Because, I mean, we've got geothermal here. we got more here. we got a little bit just outside the base there. If we want to change our kill box, we got another one there. Like, we're not going to need anything but geothermal for the rest of the game. Wonderful. Nice to get a leg up. Ha <laughs> ha, Valinor! So you'll move a little bit slower, although the prosthetic's not bad. What's the efficiency of that part? 85%. It's only one leg, so yeah. You're only, you're only gonna be moving 7.5% slower, I think, than normal. So that's not so bad. <gasps> the marriage, I totally missed that that was a wedding. Doc Villain and Drunk Shooter are officially married, not just engaged now. Oh, lovely. So yeah, what you really want to avoid dirt from getting in the rooms is you need more floor out here. Or you could just not have flooring. Turns out dirt can't get dirty. I mean, it can only be ever so clean, but it won't spread dirt. You can still get blood and, like, vomit on these patches, but it's not quite as bad. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do something about this later on. 
If Valor Surgery had gone mad, if bet wrong, he'd be hopping mad. Wow. But yeah, what we need is a little sidewalk out here so the dirt spreads to it first rather than spreading inside the room so you get a little bit of a buffer. Sometimes it's good to have your hospital not having a door to the outside but through other like clean hallways and stuff. So, but yeah, I'll probably just build a little, little sidewalk here. Or as the Brits call it, pavement. Like, to me, pavement is what goes on the street, not on the sidewalk. People restricted. Um, it's just uh, Sarge Dragonis is restricted to just the walled area. Which he is going to be a lot tougher now. What with being a vampire and all. All right, gun turrets is done. All right, we're going to check out the fertility procedures and see what its deal is. Or, hold on, maybe death rest first. We can get a proper casket. Yeah, for Sarge. And yet, now that we've got power, what I want... I might double wall this. Okay, I'll consider a double wall there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some little alcoves here for turrets. Let me run this. Get those redundant connections. Make sure we got backups to things. We'll probably get more here later on as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Death Threat Casket with the ancillary machinery needs a fair bit of power. Okay. I mean, we might just start with just the baseline. Just so that it's there. But I know, yeah, the extra caskets are really... The extra tech is, like, pretty significant. But we can get more power, as it turns out. Is there an... Oh, Sarge is the animal handler. No, Drunk Shooter is the animal handler. Yeah, yeah. Drunk Shooter is the animal handler, and he's not restricted. Sarge being restricted is fine, because with Sarge, they're basically a researcher anyway, so the restriction is, like, totally okay. Boom rat meat. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Starting to look a little neater. Still not perfect. Uh, this over here is set to store weapons that are at least normal quality and have decent amount of hit points. This is the super high priority for heavy SMG storage and super high priority for mace storage. Although we can't specify material and it really wants to be uranium maces. Although I guess we're really not going to need that right now because we've got our thrombohorn melee weapons. I don't know, can we check? Oh, we need a smithy up. Oh, well, hold on. We got a smelter. I guess we need a, do we need a smithy for the maces? Right, I had a fueled one here, and I was replacing it with electricity, but I was like, well, I don't need it now. Yeah, all right, let's rebuild it. I might still leave it off. Let's rebuild it. And if I mine out a little steel, I could also put in a little tools place, which I might. Oh, thank you, colorblind mod, for making it so much easier quickly spot this stuff. Thank you. Components are still fine, but I can mine out any more of that. Your enemies can help you become hot. Yeah. So yeah, the best weapons outside of like the persona weapons from quests and stuff like that, the best weapons you can generally craft are uranium maces, because uranium is very dense, or um, plasteel long swords. And they both have pros and cons, those two. Like they're both very good. They're optimized for slightly different situations. Secret construction mission. Oh, this is for info on a really awesome laser. We need to supply six colonists? Oh, this, okay. This is, get six colonists and hack the terminal. Oh, this seems fine. Do we have someone who's good at research other than Sarge? You tell me Flamebeard is currently better? Sorting so that Flamebeard is a higher priority research than Kerminu. I thought it sorted purely by skill. Flamebeard has a six. Kerminu has an eight.
research speed is 111 on Flame Beer. For Kerminu. Her research speed is 120. So wait, it's not actually sorting by the skill. It actually researches, er, sorts by research speed? I didn't realize that. I. This is actually much more helpful. We want it to search, sort by actual research speed. But I always assumed it's sorted by actual just base skill. But yeah, we have a global work speed boost on... Um, on Kermina? From what? Manipulation site. Wait, hold on. I'm doing this the wrong way. Kermino has the 120. Flamebeard has the 111. Kermino is actually faster at research. I do know about the numbers mod. Yeah, I normally I normally use it. I've been running it before, but I'm trying to minimize how many because it wasn't strictly necessary to run. No, that's really weird. Kermino actually has 120 versus 111. So why isn't Kermino listed higher priority? But it's not the hunt task, that's not what determines. When you're sorting by a column, it just sorts by the column, it ignores everything else. Yeah, I, I have no idea why it's listing Flamebeard first. He's actually, he's got lower skill and he's slower at it. Are you mad as well? No, just this one, and I got hit by the traps. Oh yeah, I will go and rebuild these fences out of stone. I actually quite like that idea. Uh, we're, yeah, limestone is our hard rock on this map. Okay. I think it's not sorted by reason. No, it is. Look, look, right now it's got the little arrow. It goes Sarge, then Rhyme, then Kerminu. Or I can sort it in the opposite direction. Sarge, Rhyme, Kerminu. Or yeah, I mean, it gets rid of the thing, but... Yeah. It's putting Sarge first, despite the fact that Sarge literally can't do anything right now, but with being in a coma. Huh. I mean, maybe it's just a bug? I'm assuming there's a reason, because, you know, there's like a billion systems in RimWorld. It's hard to know all of them, but that seems really... Really odd. All of our people have the same ideology. Hmm. Why is he in a coma? Oh, because he's becoming a vampire. There you go. He's about to wake up soon. He ate some genes, and that puts you in a, a Xeno germination coma. But yeah, Sarge was a baseliner, is now a vampire. Now, we can't do genetic ma uh, manipulation on vampires. I mean, maybe we could extract stuff and whatever. So I don't know. I don't think our goal here is to turn our whole colony into vampires, but yeah. <laughs> Might be based on starting level skill percentage. No, it's not based on... I mean, as far as I know, it's always been strictly sorted based on raw skill level and nothing else. But maybe we'll find out. We're not going to keep just guessing. And I, I could make a bunch of experiments, but we're not going to do that. And it's pretty clear no one has an actual answer, although some good suspicions. Human meat rotted away. Oh, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, right. I was going to build maybe like a proper hospital here. Maybe maybe we'll work on that. Because, yeah, this out of the way. I want the hospital to be centered. Also, being close to the front line is a good idea. I want it to be bigger as well. Let's move our dumping stockpile. Okay, for like stone and stuff, maybe over here, although I don't want that door to be part of it. We could consider moving the corpses closer, but for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy these settings, paste over here, I'm gonna get rid of this. Now, for our hospital, let me do 
with our beds. What I like to do with our hospital, I'll be canceling this in a second. Oh, wow, we're out of wood. Hang on. First of all, let me just make sure. There we go. I don't want to go overboard. Okay. With our beds of whatever material they might be made of. Again, I'm going to cancel these, so it doesn't matter. You can do something... like this and have a single vitals monitor right over there that covers all of these beds um which is kind of nice I, we don't need that many hospital beds certainly not right now and maybe not for a long time but it might not be a bad idea to like get the space like reserved for it right now i think i'd probably put down three so And we really don't need a lot of space in the hospital. If I literally made our room like this big, we'd have room for a couple of um, single uh, um, single shelves, like two single shelves, one set to regular medicine, one set to uh, um, glitter world medicine. Um, I suppose we could even put a shelf in here for our herbal medicines because we don't fridge it right now. Herbal medicine does eventually rot if it's not refrigerated but it takes a really long time but yeah the problem with this is there is no room for a tv now if we go this bed configuration is also quite nice in that a single flat screen television can cover all of it but i think the tv has to be like what here a couple of tiles away so i think in practice we want at least this much space but then we're also like kind of breaking our the grid we've got going on. So what I'm thinking about for the hospital is just doing this. As a bonus, if this room, now this means the bigger it is, the more we have to put down sterile flooring, but we can put our research desks over here because that way it stays on our grid um, design. And yeah, we can put a big research station here. We'd actually have enough room for two. Big research station, the, um, hmm multi-analyzer, TV. Well, maybe we can put it sideways. But yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll plan for something like this. You're right. If we did up, down, we can keep this existing door. That actually might be better because then it's a little closer to the front. Yeah, you know what? I do kind of like that. Okay. In any case, I think this layout is going to be correct for us. So what we'll do is we'll plan on that for the hospital. We'll set up these doors here for now. Okay, we're going to start with this. One tile gap between the TV and the start of viewing area. Yeah, so TV goes just one off. We could use all the space for the hospital, but the problem is we'd have to sterile floor the whole thing, and that gets quite expensive and adds wealth to our colony. So I think we'll, we'll get ready with something like this. Valinor's back on construction. There we go, they're doing repairs. And yeah, if we check their walking speed here, it should be, yeah. I think it's 92.5, because they're 75% lower because of the prosthetic. We'll see about getting some bionics at some point, but for now, you're okay. And unlike with our western town and things, I'm really trying to keep all their activities as much as possible limited to this. Flamebeard's coming over here because, oh, yeah, a little bit of mining can't really help with, with that. Um... Wait, were we out of steel? Or are we out of... Well, we got a few blocks, but barely. We actually were out of steel. Wow. Although there is a bunch of it available here. I'll probably... Because I'm assuming we're going to use a little bit more. I'll go ahead and designate a little bit more mining. Frandu! Hey, thanks for the resub. Half year. Woohoo. Yellow rock. I'm, uh, I added a colorblind mod, which is so nice. I'm not actually colorblind. Necessarily. Although I think I have a little bit of blue deficiency. And maybe that's part of it. Like, a lot of the uh, a lot of the rocks... Like, we were looking for Plasteel the other day, having a hard time. But between Marble and Uranium and Steel and Plasteel, sometimes I have a little bit of an issue spotting them. So someone suggested this Colorblind mod, and man, oh man! Like, yes, it's garish as hell, but oh my god, is it ever convenient for me. So helpful. And yeah, the yellow bits are compact in machinery. We got a lot of that. I'm sad we don't have any Plasteel, because I'd love Plasteel Longswords. We're, we're going to do an exploratory tunnel through here at some point, but not yet. So Sarge is up and running, got some loving, happily nude. Oh, you're no longer cranky about um, a lack of uh, 
of your title change, which is good. I think, especially since you're a vampire, which does give you some cool combat powers as well. So, um, the piercing spine is actually, like, so deadly. I don't know what the stats are for it, but man, oh man, is it good. It does start costing humogen, sure, but it is really handy. And then, yeah, you've got the long jump as well. It actually makes Sarge into a really good idea for, like, a melee person, especially with the fast walker. So we'll probably be equipping them and, like, limiting their, their zone. We could start armoring them up right now, but I guess it doesn't matter quite yet. Hell, maybe I'll just give you a gun, though. You know what? Go ahead and do this. We we'll keep you nude for now. The happier you are, the better the chance of an inspiration, I think. We're in a biphasic sleep schedule as well, right? Yeah. Excellent. Give subs! Parduke, thank you! He says he's a vampire. Yeah. I don't know, like, why I'm saying vampire. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I've heard it in various TV shows, and also it's just funny to, like, pronounce the V's as W's and vice versa. And vice versa. I guess because of, like, the Dracula accent. Oh, I'm a vampire. I want. I want to suck your blood. Yeah. So I checked number two. Yeah, I mean, I do go down the stairs, but you're right. I want to jiggle my legs, keep the blood flowing. Everyone should stand up. I really should stream with the uh, standing desk more. The problem is, it's really hard to get my green screen to work properly when I'm on standing desk mode. But one of the comedy Dracula movies? Maybe. Okay, we have 200. Oh, wait, of course. I mean, people are shacking up now, which is good. We've got room for extra beds, which is great. We're going to have some babies soon. So, Kerminu, how are you doing here? Mm, yeah, all we know is first trimester again. Although, I bet you you're about to come into the second trimester. Green screen back, back pack setup? Yeah. Problem is, mostly, it's like just the ceiling down here in the basement's not that high. I should paint the ceiling green, and then we wouldn't have that issue. Fangs hamper your, your pronunciation? I suppose, maybe, yeah. Um, and, you know, the I guess the Transylvanian accent, whatever that might be. Yeah, let's move these rocks. The rest of it will automatically get moved by a hauler at some point. We need, like, a couple of huskies or something to do hauling duties. Oh, I can go and slaughter this muffalo now. We haven't done any fertility treatments yet, which we could take a look at. So, with Doc Villain... Oh, wait, are we still... No, we haven't unlocked it yet. That's right. Need jade walls and recording room. That would be perfect! You're right! Green screened and add extra beauty. I'd be happy all the time. So I'm going to put a couple of mini turrets down over here. Yeah, we don't have enough steel stored, although we do have some steel on the map. More of it's going to be mined. I think we'll need a little bit more. Anyway, then we're definitely going to have bait in our kill zone, because turrets are pretty high value things. Um, and this is close enough to the front of this path that it should cause people to unstack. We could do the thing with a disabled turret out here somewhere, uh, surrounded by walls or doors. That will, um, that will also unstack attackers. Drunk shooter. Psychotic state because of psychite addiction withdrawal. Eh, fine. We'll get you some more tea soon. Oh, this building here? This is uh, for a quest, right? We have to do one of those monuments. We have to keep it alive for 10 more days and then we'll tear it down. We had another one, I think. Uh, I think we had one over here. Or maybe over here. I know we had the little defense, but I thought we'd build a fancy one as well. I'm not sure. Maybe not. So, Valinor, what are you up to? Oh, meditating. Fair. Yep. Oh, we could be dropping some more, um, you know what? Hold on. Uh, solar pinhole. We should definitely... Wait, I thought you were meditating. Oh, did you go to rest? Let's drop some solar pinholes here so that people don't get debuffs from walking around in the dark. I just don't want to have to maintain these. I really should. I should really make an effort to, like, fire this off much more consistently, but... All right, turn that off. Rhyme... You're also having Psychite Withdrawal. Okay. Hold on, there's just something else of like, oh, I should also do Block. Oh, over here. We got a poor heavy SMG. Who crafted that? I guess we don't get an authorship afterwards. Does someone else have crafting or smithing available? No, only Valinor. Oh, I think one of the attackers with the, the vampires, I think one of them came with an SMG. That's not a bad idea, yeah, because it does have light right now. Oh! Valinor has no more side focus left. Never mind. We'll just get a light set up in here before we start um, constructing the beds. 
Okay, the insult tree is really annoying. We could even consider arresting um, Ryan Pendragon because he's giving huge mood debuffs to anyone who's insulting. It can lead to a social fight, which will end it. And what's great is if it does end, they will get the plus 40% catharsis. But we could also arrest you, which doesn't give you catharsis and does give you the I was in prison debuff, but at least stops you from spreading the insults. I don't know. Remove his tongue. <laughs> Wow! Doc Villain! Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, shit. Who did you insult? Did you get... Okay, Human Fist. Good. I'm like, wait. Okay, yeah, it was with Scallop Scott. Because if you get in a social fight with someone who's got a Thrumble Horn equipped, I think... Do they use their melee weapons in a social fight? If you had a chef, they should be armed with an MSG. Oh, man. MSG makes everything better. Oh, it's only fists in the social fight? Okay, thank goodness. Because <laughs> you can't force someone... Like, when a prisoner is escaping, it's great to just punch them to down them so you can recapture them again. But people with melee weapons will use those in that case. I don't think there's a way to do it. Okay, I thought the tongue thing was a joke, but I see you can actually remove it. Oh, yeah! You can remove someone's tongue. Sadie and the camp. Medical skill trainer. Now, one advanced component doesn't do much, but it would be nice to start accruing this. Um, light machine gun's not the greatest weapon in the universe, although Masterwork's pretty good. I'm kind of tempted for this, though. What is this? It's a sight guarded by three pigs. I'm assuming these are pig people. I think I'm fine with taking this quest, actually. Uh, just a wee message. Thank you for all the Vic 3 vids. Ways to wrap my head around than most others. And armed with that knowledge, I made the fake country unite the lowlands. Congratulations. But it, I guess it might be actual pigs. Anyway, we'll accept this. Assuming it's going to be like manhunting pigs, maybe. We'll plan on sending the two melee's plus a couple of uh, gun backups or something like that. <coughs> How many kids shirts can be from pigs? And that's a good point. All right, rhyme. Go and grab your weapon again. So you do have your catharsis, right? Yeah, there we go. That's psychic withdrawal. Listen, we're working on it. We might need... Oh, we have psychoid leaves. We still have... Oh, the electric stove's turned off. I guess because we really didn't need the food, but... Yeah, uh, or something. Let me turn that back on. Doc, you're playing Hoopstone. I know... Oh, right, it's your entertainment time. I think, okay, come over here and flick this. I'm gonna force you to um, cook. Jesse, we need to cook. Start with the survival meals, that's fine. Actually, you know what, hold on. I'm gonna make a couple of batches of tea and then we'll switch the order around again. Hey Quill, pay attention, there's a new subscriber. Nap, hey, thanks for the sub. Well, the kids shirts are still in the queue. Oh, you're worried about the quest. Yeah, I mean, we'll get the pop uh, the, the pop up when it expires within 24 hours. We got three more days. So there will be a pop up, but you know, thank you for, we'll, yeah, we'll try to keep it in our heads. Okay, finish the second batch. So there is some psychic tea for the people going through withdrawal. There you go. We're back to survival meals. That's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. And yes, there are pe pig people in biotech. We've been attacked by some, I think, already. Your YouTube Kerbal Play is my favorite. Man, oh man, is it February for KSP2? So excited. Okay, Deathrest tech is done. Those Deathrest gene must periodically undergo special Deathrest coma, last several days. Research project allows you to construct buildings which accelerate the Deathrest coma and confer specific bonuses in Deathrester. Over time, you can build a grand Deathrest temple. I'll work on it. Let's get those fertility procedures. Although, well, the extract ovum could be interesting. Well, we'll see what we can do with that. Because we're not really... Well, I mean, we could add some birth control for people, but I don't know. Um, I can't disassemble it, but... Oh, the smelter finally got built. I hadn't been building it for a long time. I had it on forbid because I didn't want to use the power. But now we got lots of power. I got the power. <clears throat> smelt weapon. Do forever. First, we're going to smelt all bio-coated weapons. Then, we're going to smelt weapons. Do forever. We're going to smelt anything that is less good than normal. We'll smelt it for a little bit of material back. That's going to be fine. And we'll allow all types. That's going to be fine. Probably, maybe, I think. Then we're going to smelt apparel. 
So anything that is not clean and can be smelted, we'll go ahead and do that. Although that would include maybe like tainted, like, I could include tainted like recon armor and stuff that we might just want to force someone to wear short term. Okay, certainly we're gonna smelt anything that's bio-coated. Because we can't use that anyway. I'll also smelt any clothing that is what do we get? We get people to wear it until 55%, right? So if it's from zero to 54%, forget, it, I guess we'll set it like this, it's fine. Anything that's like basically close to being tattered. They're, these things aren't worth very much either. It's not worth keeping around to sell. We're gonna smelt that to save space. Um, yeah, so currently we're not smelting tainted. I don't know, we probably, hmm. Sorry, not destroy, hold on a sec. If I go to smelt apparel. There's not really not that much of it. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about smelted tainted apparel. Um, I will put a destroy, do forever, on Okay, on painted non-armor. Yeah, things that aren't armor, but are tainted, because we're, we're ignoring anything clean, you can go ahead and destroy it if it wasn't caught by one of the smelt jobs. And I'll also put a destroy weapon job in here, which is gonna be, so we're already smelting down anything awful to pour, but it, for things that can't be smelted, that are awful to pour, we're gonna smelt those as well. I think that's gonna be okay. Trim down some of the stockpile. Um, technically limiting the wealth a little bit, but not really, because um, the stuff we're, we're burning down here isn't gonna be worth much at all. So it's, that's not really part of wealth control. The destroy options don't produce output as far as I know, no. no. The smelt ones do, they should give you back maybe a little bit of metal. I mean, it depends what it is. Oh, tainted glove, oh, that's funny. You know what, I think I am gonna do, we're gonna do a little leg stretch slash squat here. Cause yeah, it has been a little little bit. Everyone, I encourage you to stand up. If you don't have a glass of water or something to hydrate, get one, look after yourselves. But let's all get up, just move your legs a little bit. Keep the blood flowing over there. We spend a lot of time sitting down. Blood clots are bad. Lose components, yeah. We don't get everything about uh, back from smelting it. Like really this gun here has some value we could sell. I mean, it's really not bad but I'm willing to just trash it for now. It's gonna be okay. Oh, clubs don't have quality, so it's a separate job. It's right, they just have the material. We'll take a look at that. Anyway, hang on a sec. Ah, uh, everybody, move your legs a little bit. I'm just gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Thank you, Juna and others, for the reminders all the time. We need to tame thrombosis, yeah. <laughs> blood clots inside bad, blood clots outside good. Yes, right. Blood clots on the skin, very good. If you don't have your clotting blood, that might be really bad. Woo! For evil, not good, thank you so much. 10 hype. <laughs> 10, wow, that's, well, he knew I could just turn this channel into an exercise channel and that would make me all the cash. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, you can change the height of your desk when I call in English. I do have a, like an electric standing desk and stuff and I do use that. Not Again, not so much for recording because like, look at this. If I just move my camera up a little bit. Oh, I don't have my OBS. There it is, yeah. Like I literally set the camera to just cut off before my ceiling. So when I'm streaming, unless I do a big adjustment, it's really annoying for the green screen, but I do try to use my standing desk when I'm not streaming. <laughs> yes, we want the ability to clot. We don't want the eagerness to do so. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, it's like so many things in your body, right? These p systems are designed to do good stuff. And a lot of times they do. And then sometimes they don't. Oh, do not refuel these coolers because we have electricity now. Like fevers, right? The reason we get fevers is because sometimes having a fever can save our life by killing uh, like some bacteria inside of our body. A lot of times the fevers are not helpful. In fact, they can be harmful, but they evolved for a reason. Given these folks are cannibals, would you would your name more appropriate as Quill 18? Oh, that's funny. Need to regret decorate the entire basement giant green screen. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. 10 push-ups and 10 squats, now you have me panting. Yeah. Push-ups are tough. I mean, the problem with push-ups is it's like. <laughs> it's like it, it's got double scaling if you're out of shape. Like, it's like a gaming thing, right? You're getting dinged twice. Once, because you may not have arm strength, and twice, because you're actually having to push up more weight than other people. So if you're, yeah, if you're out of shape, you get double dinged on push-ups. <laughs> Quill 18, or 18, sounds like a very good name for a vampire run. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got more Ambrosia. Growing zone. And disabled sewing. I mean, ideally, at some point, we want to clean up those growing zones. Because we don't want to keep, like, auto-chopping trees in those areas. But I'm a shape. It's called round. Yeah, round's a shape. Exactly. Step two, buy a can and green paint. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, one of the things I've had to struggle with in the past with my green screen is if it gets a little bit of a, um, like, a wrinkle in it or something or a wave, the shadow on it causes the green screen to not work right, right? Because it's not the same lighting. And I've often thought, I should just, and people do this, it's like they paint their walls green. <laughs> Look at this way, if you are out of shape, you're getting more value out of push-ups. I suppose that's true. Push-ups, extra effective. All right, let's get a lamp in this room. Valinor, I'm gonna get you to do that right away. And if we can get someone else to chop that tree, that would be ideal. Okay, kibble being made. Ah, devil strand being made, lovely. Right, with some people in Devil Strand clothing. When we get more of it in that or the Thrumble Fur, that'll be nice. Herminu. You are on a... Yeah, you are on a night sleep schedule. I guess you just got up because of probably something I did. Problem with Greenwall is that you need to get the right paint or reflected light is green and gets ugly. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's already a thing sometimes. I mean, first of all, you get like the color bleed effect no matter what. But yeah, it's true. Light, the light bouncing off it can turn more of the area green. How's our wealth level? Okay, it is climbing maybe a little faster than I'd like. Once we get to 80k, well, 81k, everyone's gonna start wanting bionic body parts. So we kind of want to keep delaying that. Because, I mean, I don't want to chop off random body parts. Especially, actually, especially if we don't have bionic parts, right? Um, we don't want to just give people peg legs or prosthetics because they're less good than their physical parts. So ideally, we'd like to get it to where we can, you know, actually use bionics to make them better. I mean, that's our whole goal, but we'll see. Inspire taming. Zapper, are you even good at taming? Uh, what am I looking for? Handling? Base three. So Zapper is guaranteed to tame the next thing he tries to tame, but with a three, he's probably below minimum for most things. I don't think there's much reason to do that. Although he will want to tame, or she will. What do we need to tame a Muffalo? Five. Damn it. Maybe build the Deathless Sarcophagus room next to the med room. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, we do have the tech for that. Oh, hold on. I just realized. I guess it's only going to matter when Sarge needs to go into the death rest. Otherwise, Sarge should still sleep in bed with Kermino, right? Why do I have, um, like a schedule notification? Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm like, I'm already streaming, so it's not that. Was I supposed to do something today? No, I'm fine. Did we get another Jade Meteor? I did, like, auto-dismiss a message, didn't I? Oops, not more. No. Oh, you're responding to something else. We had one. There we go, yeah, Bananas responded to someone else. Saying we had a jade meteor. Yeah, we had a jade meteor, so we chopped up a bunch. I actually still have some jade. I should probably see about using some up. I don't know. Well, first of all... Can 
can still hold open on here. And ideally, I would prefer people not walk through this area, which unfortunately is kind of a thing that might happen sometimes. Well, once we get this room floored, I guess it won't matter as much. Okay. Apparently, Sarge is... Well, oh, we could double-check that. But people indicated that um, vampires... Yeah. 100% fertility. That vampires uh, still can make babies. They are, they're going to be regular, plain old vanilla human babies, as far as I understand. Mmm, vanilla babies. It's my favorite flavor. We've got a bunch of silver, so let's use sterile tiles, not silver tiles, Quill. Sterile tiles to fill this. I know this is not enough stored. It's because a bunch of this is just sitting outside over here, because it hasn't been moved to the new stockpile, but that's fine. So once we get that done, we will make this room no longer be a hospital. It'd be nice. Man, do we want to research hospital beds quite quickly? Maybe we should. Actually, ideally, maybe even before fertility stuff. Oh, hospital beds need microelectronics. We haven't researched yet. Okay, never mind. Our first baby is going to be in a normal bed, not a hospital bed. Make them under the door. We're going to add extra flooring on here, but I'm not going to use sterile tile under the doors because it doesn't count as part of the room and I don't want to waste the material. But we do want to have a floor under doors, just otherwise you get more dirt generation. Um, but I'll probably just use various stone tiles for that. In fact, we'll probably use marble. Uh, as far as we, yeah, all f all stone tiles have exactly the same boat boost. So using marble doesn't make it more beautiful, but uh, marble's not very strong, so we don't want to use it for walls anyway. So I'll do that. And then, yeah, we'll put it under these two doors here. I mean, I could even just use um, concrete here because it's not part of any room, so the, va the, the value doesn't make as much, or the beauty doesn't matter as much. But for consistency, it's do it. We got a raid with a relationship. Ron Pendragon's aunt. Oops, I didn't mean to right click. Ron Pendragon's aunt is in this. All right, so we got tribes people. They're attacking immediately. There's a big number of them, so that's what happens with tribal, especially our wealth is going up which I would rather it didn't, but it has gone up. It's going down a little bit because we're using materials for construction now all of a sudden. So a lot of people, but they're not going to be armored. Hell, some of them look like they're mostly naked. And then we're going to be mostly melee weapons, maybe some bows. We have this. A lot of them will die on the traps because they're not armored. We do have some turrets over here too, which is great. All right, let's just get everyone, including Sarge, who is naked but at least can shoot over there and theoretically can't be killed. Do they regenerate missing body parts? Volunteer blood donations. Now, that's the thing we can do. We can capture people and literally leave them as, like, blood puppets for the entire game if we wanted to, as prisoners. It can be automated and everything. A regen small parts. What, like fingers? But maybe not an arm? Oh, well, yeah, we do have the Psy Power, uh, which is on Rhyme Pendragon, I believe. No. Is it Sarge that's got it? No. Oh, there you go. It's Valinor. Yeah, Valinor's got the blinding pulse. Oh, no, they're still stacked. Go. I'm not going to worry about the blinding pulse right now. Ah, Slipsa, thanks for the sub. Because they can't shoot us, so I'm not really care worried about blinding them. There we are. We're not going to be able to catch anyone. All right. We have one Wiggler. Cero. No missing body parts. Dead in seven hours. Slow learner with no skills. Baseliner. So we don't want this as a colonist. We don't want this person as a colonist as a, at all. Although we could just use you as a hauler cleaner. That's true. I mean, he's got... It's true. She does have some passion for a few things here and there. And we could use him as a pure combat person. Right? Absolutely. We could just use you to fight and haul and stuff. And if you die, oh well. A slow learner means I'm not really concerned about... Like, minus 75% learning factor. So, here's the thing. If someone doesn't have passion for it, they only get 35% of the base skill. Okay, so let's say we have a normal pawn and we put them on a job they're not passionate about. They only get 35% of the normal 
amount of XP. Someone who's a slow learner is only getting 25% of the XP of something they have passion for. A slow learner working their passion is worse than someone working a non-passion. They are awful. So even though they have passion for plant craft and combat, effectively we can consider this person as having zero passion for anything. Um, so yeah, we can have them on janitorial duties, we can use them as a bit of a body blocker in combat, but they're going to add extra wealth to the colony merely by existing, and they're really not going to be doing anything for us. Yeah, maybe... I don't know if they age up if they can still get another passion. I don't think so. We could just make them a blood puppy, though. We could just extract some body parts, too. Um, we're going to capture you. We are going to start by capturing you, that's a for sure. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Test subject, body parts. Locusaur! Hey, thanks for the sub! Royal Tribute Collector. I'm not going to get involved with that. Alright, so... <clears throat> they'll get treated first. And then afterwards, we can do a few things. So, yeah, on the Prisoner tab, I can put Hemogen Farm. So what they'll do, anytime they've got, like... Anytime we can extract the blood pack without killing them, that's going to happen. Maybe we'll do that until we got a good collection of blood packs. We did start with five with our vampire. But yeah, maybe we'll... Uh... Oh, it's true. We could sell them to the tribute collector. I think they have to walk to be able to do that. But that is true. Right, I guess the vampire can also do, like, a blood-feeding attack. All right, fertility procedures is done. We might go for microelectronics next. Oh, xenogenetics. Let's do this. Mm -mm -mm. Give them two planting hands, level up with planting like mad. I mean, again, they'd only level up at 25%, but I guess if they weren't doing anything but planting, that would be okay. Who's our current plant person? Yeah, really drunk shooter. I mean, they have animal handling on, but really drunk shooters do nothing but planting. With an extra planter, we could take Zapper off and have them focus on a few other things. I guess that would be it, but... Oh, you're probably right. Yeah. Still on Glitter World Medicine. Let's bring that down. I just feel like this person's really not going to add much to the way of value. Yeah, we could decide to make to get some honor on one of our characters. I really wasn't going to focus on that vibe. Maybe if we get someone who joins our colony who doesn't have a background that allows them to meditate. Oh, well, Drunk Shooter. Drunk Shooter does not have a background that lets him do natural meditation. So they can't contribute to this, but it also means they're not going to be able to develop psychic powers from our tree. We could decide... Give honor to Drunk Shooter so that they can get psychic powers through titles. But yeah, Sarge Draconis could be a Count, you know, Count Dracula kind of thing. That is true. Yeah, quest inspired in 24 hours. There's our caravan quest. All right, I'm going to accept this now. So now we have 21 days to finish our shirts. How are we doing? The kids' shirts. Oh, we're still only at three because I keep giving construction jobs to Valinor. You know what? Oh yeah, we're supposed to do this so you craft first. And Kermino and Zapper should do construction from time to time. I might want to increase it a little bit. I don't know. Heat stroke. 
Sarge? Wait, you're naked. How are you getting heat stroke? What's your comfort levels? From 7 to 26. Oh, it is warm outside. And since you're not wearing a duster or a cowboy hat. Oh, Kier Mooney needs a helmet. Drunk Shooter needs a helmet as well. Oh, yeah, I'm hoping this gets started on flak helmets. Oh, we don't have Plasteel. That's why. It might be time to get Sarge to go in his dress, especially if we're going to use you to fight. Yeah. So, Sarge, you're going to lose your plus 20 nudist buff, but we'll get some actual clothes on you. Oh, yeah, this extra end table. That's true. Do we have anywhere to put it? We can whisk in chocolate. Benna, thank you. What's that? French vampires are the worst. To kill them, you must stab them with a baguette. It's a painstaking process. Pain. Pain. It's a painstaking process. Wow. Yeah, there we go. It's supposed to be in there. I'll get some lights in here soon, because it'll look nicer. Even though it, you know, adds, like, material and wealth to things. But, psh. Nudis just needs a top hat. <laughs> oh, full Monty. How are we on this? 16 animal grass because I can't I can never it's been a little while um, oh yeah it's flame no sorry who's our psychic Valinor it is Valinor so Valinor can get one more level of Psylink right I think five's the cap so we'll get Valinor their final ability and then start psychicking someone else make a bowler hat for the vampire berserker I feel like it's a reference to something I don't know a gift of 300 silver Okay. And there's some silver out here, too. Oh, Captain Vanilla is six. Oh, sweet. Excellent. So, yeah, Valinor needs two more levels, then. Gorgeous. No notice are too close. I did install the mod that uh, lets you know when you've got a debuff you can ignore. So, yeah, we've lost the plus 20, and we have a minus three. So it is a 23% mood swing, or 23-point mood swing, which sounds huge. But in reality, we're basically already kind of capped over here. Um, I mean, it's going to fluctuate as things happen. But basically, Sarge is going to be in a great mood. Good enough that the minus three doesn't matter. But we got slept in the heat. Okay, hold on. I guess... Oh, I don't have air conditioning. We should probably research that and get these uh, bedrooms air conditioned. Helper outsourcing. Lose one colonist for five days. Get 12 Glitter World Medicine. Yeah, Sarge just became a vampire. Um, I think this is well worth it. Who are we going to send out? Probably Scallop Scott. Scallop Scott is sort of just a catch-all with no specific skills we're interested in. Um, they are, you know, they're a great part of our defense. They've got double passion for truly mating. Scallop Scott's like a great, um, a great soldier. And really, they're just looking for something to help the swamp. It sounds perfect. Yeah. I say we absolutely agree to this, and I think I take it for the Glitter World Medicine. Altec's shirt does give you extra, like, psychic stuff. But this would replace um, the button-down shirt, which is actually part of our ideology, and I don't care about a Masked Work Great Bow. So yeah, Glitter World Medicine, done. And they're sending a shuttle, right? Yeah. Mm. Marriage is on! Sarge and Kermino are getting married, too! Oh, wow. We're going to go from two lovers to two uh, married folks quite quickly. Oh, Gary, should we... Would it work better with hex tiles? In which case, you're right. We should do that. I don't know if it matters specifically for the religious room. Like, I don't know if that makes a difference. I know our people are happy when they're around the tech style. They take a fair amount of time to build and a fair amount of steel. Unless I don't do the whole room. Let me start by just doing the middle here. And then I'll just use some marble tiles for the rest. It should still count as tech his surroundings and that should be okay. Um, yes, his Bunisher's training started. It's been enabled. Okay, guard is at two of three. Excellent. Yeah, so it's being worked on. Hex tiles would be good for some spell casting. <laughs> Do I need to mine some more? No, we still have the steel out here. 
animal. Okay, there's the shuttle. So, Scout Scott. See you in five days. And your dozen uh, Glitter World Medicine. They can play Civ when they're in the sermon on the hex dial. Nice. Oh yeah, we get the Glitter World Medicine right away. Makes sense. We've spent it right away. Minu, can I get you to just uh, haul that in right away? Thanks. Excellent. Valinor. Oh, yeah, Valinor's probably stuck doing crafting right now rather than constructing. But yeah, we'll get those shirts working. Oh, still there. Oh! Well, it makes sense. Um, Sarge would have just picked up some shirts and pants, so those have to be rebuilt. That's okay. Uh, yes, that shuttle got deconstructed out there that the vampires came in on. Thank you for checking on that. That's a good idea. Okay, wait. Oh, maybe I'd force Kermino to start on something. I'm like, why are you not in bed? You could have gone in bed two hours ago. You were tired and everything. This is excellent. Okay, these can be deconstructed. You know what? I'm going to do the air conditioning before Xenogenetics. They have about the same amount left. Oh, everyone's on uh, just herbals right now. We have a little bit of industrial medicine, and we're, we actually have more glitter world. Oh, oh, oh! This must have been from deconstructing the um, the spaceship. I was like, how did we get some plasteel? That's probably how. Um, that's a good question. They're probably okay. She's in her second trimester now, so the answer is no. Currently, Kerminu does not need additional rest. But um, first trimester, she had a 10% hunger rate. Now it's up to 30% boost. And now she's also got a deficit to her moving and manipula manipulation. I guess a little bit of a waddle going on. It'll be interesting to see what the stats do in the third trimester. But so far, it doesn't look like they need additional rest. <laughs> yeah, if we can get some more mech raids or any mech raids so that we can start uh, deconstructing mechanoids. I guess I don't even have the quest in here. I should put a shred mechanoid uh, in there. There we go. Um, I said quest, I meant cube. Anyway, um, yeah, if we can get some mechanoids. I mean, I can smash some buildings. I think it's time, actually, to go and bust this up. I think when... Uh, there we go. Zapper. So I can come over here. Melee attack this. I'm going to have to babysit it. It would be better if I had a, um, a breach axe, because it would go really fast. But we're going to get the bit from this thing now. I really love the way the earth rotates. It really makes my day. Oh, that's terrible. Now, this is going to want to explode. Oh, that is so slow. Hey, Kreuz! Or Kwa. Thank you very much for the sub. So yeah, this will want to explode. I mean... Hold on. I wonder if these give any valuable things. I'm assuming they just gave us metal scraps. But this is going to explode when it reaches too low. So if there's any chance there's value in this stuff, maybe the head, I should probably smash these first. Why not deconstruct it? Because I cannot. Um, if we had the, uh, so some things on the map can be deconstructed. Some things have to be smashed by hand in vanilla. There's a mod I like to run called Tweaks Galore, and they do make it so that you can deconstruct these instead of uh, smashing them, which I like because mostly it's less annoying. Okay, so this is just metal chunks, which is worthless. Oh, you need some food. I'll get you to smash the head just in case the head has something special, but I'm expecting it's all scrap. Breach axes should not be equipped by a midwife. Well, in case there's a breach birth and there's a horrible misunderstanding. I don't know, maybe you need it for a C-section. Yay, air conditioning. Okay, go back to Xenogenetics, please. Uh, temperature. Okay. That's gonna like break the prison. Well, let's wait on it. Set up a couple of air conditioners over here. Oh, I'm gonna have to vent through my uh, my beautiful jade wall. We'll vent that after. Okay, let me start with this. Oh, we could put them here, too, for... Yeah. We'll see. I want to do a couple of these, because these this is definitely not going to be indoors with this. Well, I mean, I guess we might consider putting a room there, but we'll deal with that later. 
Yeah, the over the wall coolers. Nice mod. Um, and I bet you we're gonna need more steel. How are we doing on components? Are we out of components? I think we are. I think they would show up. Yeah, we must be out of components. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna, for my components, I'm just gonna take care of this part first. Okay. See, and then Zapper's still here and still freaking drafted, which is annoying. All right, melee attack this. Now I gotta babysit you. I mean, this one's fair, but the others are kind of annoying to me. Because I have to babysit. I mean, it could shift queue things. I gotta watch them. Prison break. Okay, hold on. Sarge, the vampire, you know what you're gonna do? Oh, he can't because you'd resist. Well, all right. Long jump. Back. I mean, I can pierce his spine, but. All right, everyone go melee. There we go. Done. And you're here. Recapture immediately. Well, that's true. Because this is... Hold on. That's a great point. This is exposed to open air. That is a great point place to start our coolers. Absolutely. So I'm going to do this. They'll be a little redundant, but they do have to vent to everything else. And then maybe there. I mean, I don't. I could almost put two in here, but we'll spread that out a little bit. All right. Sarge took a little bit of damage apparently, but you're gonna be fine. Just a bruise. That's gonna reset your prison break timer. Well, I think they're averaging six days. Might be worse. You know what we could do? You want to stop a prison break? <clears throat> Lower their mobility. Right, I guess I can't choose to just cut off people's legs. But we could give them a couple of peg legs. They'll get reduced mobility, which dramatically changes their prison breakout timer. I'm just saying. It works. Oh, then you can remove the peg legs. Ah, that's how you do it. Excellent. Ah. Does it lower blood volume? I mean, it would make sense if you, it did. Wow. Now, this person's considered guilty. So, I mean, if they died, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world. Because they're guilty right now because they just tried a prison break. How's this coming? 4.8 days. <laughs> Are we the baddies? Eh, it's for science. And install a real leg on your pawn that has a peg leg. Just got here. How's it going? Um, pay no attention to the war crimes occurring in the prisoner room. There you go. So now they got a huge debuff to their mobility, which is going to dramatically change their prison break interval. Right, and then you're saying we can remove the peg legs? Oh, we can. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> I've, n I've never been this bad in RimWorld. I mean, I know all the RimWorld memes. Anyway, Xeno Xenogenetics is done. Is it just time for microelectronics now? I think it is. We don't board mortar barrels, do we? Uh, it would show up under one of these, so I think the answer is no. Oh, advanced light for colored lights? Wait, it reduces the power consumption by half? I mean, that's what we're really hurting for. Yeah, we got uh, surgery failed. We failed to remove the peg leg, apparently.
Yeah, we actually cracked their, um... Their peg leg somehow. <laughs> it was put on too well. Yeah. Cancel those vents. So, I guess you can't make clothes right now. We just don't have the material. Oh, you finished! 36 kids clothes! We got it! Oh! 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 Okay. Caravan. So, long, so right over here. So we are here. We have to go there. It's all along a road, which is really nice. Steel mining site. Man, we could go and raid that. If it was a plasteel site, I wouldn't heartbeat. Also, we still have to go and hack the ancient complex. But let's go and drop off those shirts first. So let's start a caravan. Now, it doesn't really matter who goes. If we were sending a bunch of stuff to trade, someone with good social skills would be helpful. Oh, we could sell a bunch of weapons and shit. That might not be a terrible idea. Oh yeah, Sarge doesn't like the, the light anymore. Maybe we should put you on a night schedule. You know what? Isn't your wife... Your wife is the night owl? Perfect. There you go. Because Sarge isn't a night owl, but um, we'll get um, a mood debuff from Bright Lights. Oh, did I change the wrong person? Oh, I did rhyme. Instead of Sarge. Kerminu, do you not uh, do you not have the meditation? No, you don't have night meditation. Okay. Yeah, you should get your recre- I don't know. Let me put it here. Again, if their recreation is maxed out, they will stop anyway. Okay, all right. I was like, I need... So, Sarge is a good chatter. Actually, both of them are, are social people. Maybe that's why they got along so well. Um, I might just send Kerminu. You know what? I should send a couple. I don't think their night owl stuff will matter when they're away. Actually, I'm not that sure if that's true. Frick it. I'm going to send both of those. It's going to be fine. Form caravan. Go here. We're going to send Kermino and Sarge Dragonis. Um, so apparently, Bunisher the Rhino is not a pack animal. It's not adding to our mass that we can carry. So we don't actually have pack animals. I'm hoping that these kids' shirts don't overweight. Oh, no, they're pretty light. Is this... No, there we go. There's some... Arg. Why are you not in order of... Let's just sort you by name. Oh, but it's sort by material. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, I guess it's still fine. So blue fur kids' shirts are going... That's a regular shirt. Cloth kid shirts are going. Human leather kid shirts. Out of, yep, yeah, various qualities are gonna go. More kid shirts over here. Oh yeah, you're right. We can just use the search. Thank you. Okay. Good. All right, that's clear. So I could bring extra goods to sell, but because we don't have any riding animals or pack animals, it would just add weight and slow us down, but it's not so bad. I suppose. Let's sell some of the more expensive weapons. These aren't actually that heavy. Yeah, I'm just going to bring the more expensive weapons. Uh, I don't need a flat frag grenade. I mean, don't need this pistol or this pillar. Okay, added a little bit of our transportation, but not that much. Human leather duster. You know what? We can sell those too. Okay, I'm gonna do that. We do have more capacity, but as we add more, it doesn't slow things down a little bit, which admittedly, again, it's not very far, but what the heck, right? So you're gonna bring some packaged survival meals, 2.1 days. I mean, you might sleep a little, so let's, there, bring a little extra. We had a self-tamed buffalo, yes, that's true, which could have been used for pack animal, but something happened to it. 
turned into deliciousness. And we didn't need the meat. We didn't need the material. Flu? Punisher? No! Okay, you get treated right away. Doc Villain, I think, will handle that, right? With doctoring? Go tent of... Oh, rhino. A sniffly rhino. Oh, did I did I click the auto back on? Ah, uh, whatever. Who cares? Found a little burgers. So he's a rhino virus. Mm-hmm. We're sending the pregnant woman to walk a few kilometers carrying 40 kilograms, right? Exactly. It's fine. It's good exercise. Just don't give the ba birth to the baby along the way. I guess she did have a movement speed debuff, but still. Ooh, go frenzy. Never a bad thing. Oh, I just realized I have to cancel the kids' church jobs because otherwise it's going to keep happening. Although, apparently we will need one at some point. Thrumble for Duster. Oh, that's going to be really good for us. Third try is they don't move at all. Sure. How are we failing to remove this peg leg so much? Oh, it did queue up the hemogen pack job. Damn it. Let me cancel, cancel for a sec here. Actually, you can requeue it, but let's just wait. Let's let them recover a little bit here. A little bit heat stroke going on there too. Peg leg, super leg gone. Yeah, you know what? That's a great point. We should just make sure this lamp gets filled first. Oh, caravan has arrived. Uh, fulfill trade offer. Boom! And then we will also dump... These weapons. And this duster. Excellent. We're going to keep the recon armor. We're going to keep the skill trainer. And the meals we've picked up. Do I want to buy anything? Well, components... I want to buy these advanced components, too. Although, oh, we don't have enough money for that. Oh, they have a lot of components here. Um, I, ooh, tech print. Gene pack orange. Small capsule containing a package of genetic information. Used gene pack must be placed in the gene bank near gene assembler and combined into an implantable xenogerm. Oh, this is just to make orange skin? Ooh, barrels for our mortars. Gene pack for perfect immunity. Uh, we don't have enough money for any of those things. Um, I think I'm just going to come back with 16 components. Yeah. Do that and return to the House of Evolution, please. Thank you. Okay. Good stuff. That's complete. Furniture builder. One more, like, randos from, like, tribes. We can piss them off. And it'll just keep them in the pool of, like, things that would attack us. I haven't built any gene banks. Um, we are... We did finish the geno, uh, xenogenetics. What I'm thinking of doing is maybe put a xenogenetics room next to our hospital. I don't know how much space we need. <gasps> Anima tree linking is ready. Well, uh, I know everyone's sleeping right now. And cranky because of lack of food. Okay, we'll wait until the morning. But then we want to link uh, Valinor. <laughs> it's nice that the amount of grass needed is consistent. All right, people are up. People have theoretically fed themselves. Uh oh, we could, hold on. We could wait till everyone is back just to get the higher quality. I think because it gives a mood buff. Careful, most gene things can't be moved after build. Okay. Need a fair bit of space. Each bank holds four. Relations. Oh, we're, we're pissing off these people because we keep extracting genes or a hemogen from this person. God, we haven't extracted either leg yet. All right. Maybe the lighting is going to help. Are you guys arresting? Okay, you know what? No, I'm going to have Valinor do it now. It's fine. Go. Oh, Drunk Shooter doesn't participate at all because they can't do natural meditation, I guess. Boom, boom, 
Getting blood out of them, no problem. Cutting the peg legs off much harder, right? Yeah. I mean, the trick is trying to get out of the peg legs off without killing them, right? It's like, all right, fair enough. I can see why there might be a little difficulty in that. All right, Valinor, what did you get? You got invisibility. Psychically manipulate the visual centers of everyone nearby, rendering them unable to perceive a particular individual for a short time. I guess I could use that to make one of our meleers invisible so that they can run up and close in. Wouldn't surprise me if I didn't use it much. You don't have a warden, but I don't... I guess we need a warden to feed Saro, don't we? Peg legs like corks. You put them back in after pouring the blood. <laughs> That's how we get the hemoglobin out. Or the hemogen. <gasps> Exotic traitor. Well, well, well. Well, we can probably wait until our best talkers are in. That power is great for someone to run in and rescue someone bleeding out. Oh, interesting. Another Ambrosia Sprout. You know, maybe I should just install the manager mod, so I don't have to keep worrying about doing this. And I want to make this, like, this run vanilla in terms of gameplay mechanics. The manager mod doesn't really change the gameplay. It just auto queues up tasks for you while consuming colonist time to run the management desk. Oh, this way we can be a little more personal. Wow, they've got some interesting gear. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, Sarge wants some hemogen. He's under 50%, which is where I think the slider is set by default, so he should go and eat a blood pack soon. There we go. Um, Herminu, let me get you to do some trading here. Oh, there you go. Left leg is gone. We got the log back, too. That's awesome. Okay. You know, I'm going to sell the fully grown bull. We've got another one coming in, so that's going to be okay. Um, I mean, ideally, I would like the components, advanced components, and plasteel. Uh, naked speed. I, we could really make our nudists really fast, but then, then they're nudists. Gene pack sterile. Oh, I'm like, wait, are they good doctors? No, they mean like they can't make babies. Toximmune would be great to have available to us, potentially. I don't know if we can buy it right now. Death rest capacity serum. The number of death rest buildings a person can act to during death rest. What? We don't have to cash for any of this. Well, we have cash for some things. Hell, we can even make a screen. Invisible nudist. <laughs> I turn darn invisible, but only when no one's watching and when I don't have any clothes on. I'm thinking about doing this, getting this gene pack for Toximmune. If not kept in a power gene bank, the gene pack will slowly deteriorate. Okay, let, maybe let's not buy it right now. In hindsight, let's not buy it right now. Build gene bank before buying genes. Yeah, I didn't realize that. And we do have six reinforced barrels. Okay. Wait, do they not show up in the list anywhere? Huh. Well, we should... Did we... Oh! I haven't actually researched mortar tech yet. Alright, we'll do the advanced light just because it saves a little bit of power. And then we can make colored lights. They might hidmatize. And that sounds like fun. Um, but yeah, we're going to research mortars and then build them. Bionic eye. Do we have someone who needs an eye? We've got... Uh, we might. I know we've got a prisoner that was missing one. No. Yeah, Sarah's missing an eye. And both legs! Hmm. Vampires need blood. Do 
Do do do. Excellent. More Devil Strand. Perfect. Get people kitted out and stuff. Another flak helmet. Oh yeah, because we did buy a little more Plasteel, and this is great. So we'll get our people switched from simple helmets to flak helmets. They're much better. Blood banks don't need legs. Remove the other eyes so they can't see the legs are missing. Like, what a fucking, like, nightmare. <gasps> Transport pod crashed. Not affiliated with any faction. Now, I think people with no faction, they are more likely to just join us randomly if we just rescue them. Huh, okay. But if there are no faction, we can also imprison them without pissing anyone off. Aesthetic heart. Oh, it's fine. You're 17 years old and you already have a prosthetic heart. What happened to you, Sherry? Maybe you were born with a, uh, with a, um, congenital defect. All right. Double passion for crafting. You're also really smart for research. Very neurotic is pros and cons. It does increase the, uh, mental break threshold, but it does make them work a lot faster. The rim happened to her, right? Um, recluse is going to be a little bit rough. I don't know how that's going to affect us. Psychically hypersensitive is going to be really bad when we get a psychic wave, but it does make them uh, regain their psycho focus a lot faster. They're a good candidate for maybe psionic stuff. Um, how breakable are they religiously? Normal. And yeah, we can turn them into an engineer. I think, I think they're going to be worth it. I think we're going to try to recruit them. should make a slight change so that we can do the um, the shared uh, we can do a shared um, end table again that increases rest speed oh yeah hold on I want to make a few changes okay first of all let's send someone out there uh, doc you're fast where are you come over here capture Yeah, I don't think we need another blood bank right now. That's going to be fine. What I want to do is I want to make some beds. Now, stone beds, right? We were just looking at this last time, were we not? Is this how we can swap materials? Yeah. So wooden beds have a base rest of effectiveness of 100%. Steel is also 100. All the stone ones are identical in that they have a worse rest effectiveness which we actually want for our prisoners. So I'll use marble because we should have plenty of it. Because uh, I want our prisoners to spend as much time sleeping as possible so that they don't like, oh, no, I got to flip these around. So that they're not breaking out. There we go, do that. So I actually don't want the, um, the end table. Oh, end table adds comfort, not rest speed. It's just comfort. Okay, well that's fine, because we want them to be comfortable and happy. Okay, wait, can I make slab beds? No, I, we need the pain. We need an ideology for that, to make slab beds. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, yeah, we need the pain as a virtue meme. Which is a very strong meme, very useful for us. Like, in general, it's actually arguably abusive and cheesy. But we're gonna do that, we also want them to be low quality. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be intentionally getting Actually, at this point, I'm wondering if I should just use literally the worst person possible. There's going to be some wasted material. Here, let's do this. Sarge. Doc. Oh, they're overriding each other for the, the hall. So they might waste, I don't care too much about wasting material. I hate them wasting time, but I want the shittiest possible beds over here. I think the light only, well, it might affect um, success chance. I think it's mostly just time. I just don't want Valinor coming over here and building any of the beds because I don't want them to be good. Yeah, Rhyme's fine. He's another one of the bad ones. There we go. An awful bed. If we check this, rest effectiveness is down to 77%. That's exactly what you want. Wait. Oh, did I cancel the grab? That's right, because Doc was supposed to capture you. No! I forgot. Watch him bleed to death now. 
I forgot I interrupted Doc. Four bed. Advanced lights, uh, mortars. Yeah, it's like an unquality builder, exactly. Here it is. A heat wave? Okay, well, let's get those coolers up, please. Oh yeah, I could have done field 10, that's true. Okay, we're fine. It wasn't a problem at first, they had nine hours, but yeah, when I sent them back, I should have really uh, done a 10 immediately then. We could pass a cooler, but we have enough power now. Uh, oh, we don't have, uh, well, components have to be mined. Oh, we have some, because we bought some, and we've got a little bit of steel, so we're probably okay for now, although what I might do is issue a little bit more steel mining commands. Because I think we're going to need more soon. And maybe a few more components. Check the animals in the heat wave. Yeah, I mean, they might develop a problem. Their temperature range is pretty wide, though. Plus 40. Yeah, so they'll still get hot, but I don't think they'll have too much of a problem. Yeah, the doctor has to be drafted for the tendon place. But oh, I can't believe you, you kept that at so long. Ram pen dragon without interruption. There you go. Yeah, now you need to eat and sleep. Poor, poor, great. So we've got an excellent bed here that we're going to um, probably move into the hospital, actually. Since we don't have medical beds right now. There we go. We'll plan a move. No need to rush. I didn't finish the blinky thing. That's true, too. Now, I might not want to send anyone out right now at 55 degrees. Except for, like, a little bit of mining. Because, yeah, they're going to get hot really soon. Valinor has the construction coming on. Okay, you did one. Good. Oh, yeah, you need to eat. Thank you. Now, work the other one. Because we're definitely going to need multiples here. In fact, this is still not going to be enough, but... I guess it doesn't matter too much, but it's a little less than great. I guess I could just pop it one stay through here. And then do that. Okay. Oh, the hospital might not be home zone, that's true, which is why it's not clean being cleaned right now. Actually, a bunch of this is missing. From our previous efforts. Okay. Uh, let's home zone this so it gets repaired. Okay. Frickin' heat strokes. Wait, we need meditation spot. Oh, because it's unsafe right now. Oh, all right, fair enough. Yeah, all right. Stand here and babysit these cables. And you also have serious heat stroke. Oh yeah, we need to get, okay, you know what? Everyone who's actually decent at construction. Honestly, you know what? Get everyone. As long as you don't have a red outline. Let's reset everyone. That's why you're doing meditation over there. Did you not? I'm going to force everyone on work, actually, instead. Might like flip some beds to prisoner beds temporarily, but we'll deal with that. 
we could just put some coolers in the east room, but no, I do want to link this. I'm, I'm happy to have one uh, one link active here. One spot in the jade wall is going to be fine. Okay, eat your nutrient paste, and then... Okay, so that's all prisoner room now. Actually, the is this one. prisoner room and nor is this now who wanted to sleep together doc and drunk got broken so this is clearly supposed to be their bed doc and drunk okay it's whiskey and chocolate building vent good keep going that uh mr claude thank you <laughs> why does sarge have no friends because it's a pain in the neck sarge zara or, uh, vampire. Hey, Scout Scott is back. Good work, Scout Scott. You got us some Glitter World Medicine, which we very much appreciate. I should work on this vent before the floor there, please. Okay. Now, it's still too warm in here. We do need some more vents. I'm going to get another one put here. Um, I will build some on the east side. We know we're not going to be enclosing this area here. So I'll do that. Uh, I'm gonna forbid the floors. There you go. They should need less babysitting now. Oh yes, I did do the child shirts. Uh, we went and sold them off and got the material back. Hi in a room, you're upset because you slept in the heat. Well, the rooms aren't gonna be cool yet, so you know, I'm not sure that's gonna be a winning move for you, but we're working on it. Valnor, okay, you're going to go rest. Um, I actually have to get you to work a little bit longer there, Valinor. I'm angry about sleeping in the heat, so I'm going to go hide in my room. Right? Exactly. Come on. Or are you having to go all the way out here for steel? It's actually fairly likely, I suspect. Where are you, Valinor? Okay, you're here right now. You're hauling more steel. Oh, no, okay, we did have some stockpiled here. So one of our cows rotted. That's annoying. He's so tired. Okay, yeah, we'll reset you. Zapper? Yeah, okay, good. You're working on this, because right now that's exposed to the outside, so none of this cooling is working right now. There we go. Oh, shit. Now we got this. Quick, 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 quick. We need to get this sealed up. Another... Oh my god, all the cows have the flu. Is Bunisher over the plague? Oh no, he had the flu, not the plague. Okay, yes, his immunity's ahead. Uh, Zapper, are you still... Oh yeah, you're hauling from a million miles away. Both our prisoners just died from the heat stroke. Eh! It's okay, we'll just butcher them. Wow. I think we still have the hacking side quest. I don't think there's a timer on that one. Yeah, the fact that people have had to go so freaking far away to bring this material is not helping. Yeah, sh I mean, Sherry would have been a little bit of a pain in the butt to manage, but she would have been pretty useful. Opponents. Oh, they're probably all unhappy because their prisoners have died. Okay. This should all be sealed in now for temperature purposes. Rhyme is really upset. Psychite withdrawal. You'd have some catharsis, at least. It's trying. Okay. I mean, opening and closing doors will change things, but no one else should die, hopefully. Um, I should get some for the hospital as well. God, it's using a lot of material and a lot of power. Seriously, with the Zot right now? That's not what we need. Oh yeah, the heat overlay. Yeah, it's fine. 
We might want to keep this room cooler later. Because, yeah, it's still dangerous, and we certainly want the hospital proper. And it depends on what people are wearing, but this should help a lot. Still, I think I will get a cooler directly set up for the hospital. Although, I might wait until we've actually secured the material. Less roof around the anima tree. Nope. Why would I Why would I want that? The roof is perfect right now. The anima tree and all the grass is open. Everything else is roofed so that um, we're not getting wet or anything like that when we're meditating. Although we need some, uh, some uh, light in there. Okay. Kermi new giving birth in less than six days. Prepare for the baby. Build a birth room. Clean floor and good bed. Skill doctor ready. Work tab. Assign at least one person to child care. Prepare a food source for the baby. Kermi new can breastfeed the baby or you can feed them baby food, milk, or insect jelly. Build a crib. High quality cribs will make the baby happy. Make baby food at the stove or campfire. Okay, a couple of things. I don't remember seeing the baby food, so... We could do that. There it is, baby food. Products 40 times. Wow. Right. I'm going to say... That's psychic like tea. Just, if we have no baby food, make one big batch of baby food. There we are. Although, we can also do breastfeeding, but let's have a little bit to make sure. Yeah, it's 60 degrees here, and... It's like... Is it overheating with these? Is this not... How come this isn't equalizing temperature to the outside? If we removed a wall, it would immediately vent. I didn't realize this, the missing ceiling wasn't unventing that quickly. Needs less roof. It's going... Hmm. Huh. We specifically unroof that, I wonder what happens. If that helps or not. We'll see. Okay, this is medical. I mean, I don't think there's a specific... There's not a specific setting for, like, birth, other than hospital work. Yeah, and we can build a vent to the outside wall, but it's also kind of a bit of a vulnerability spot, so I'm just going to leave that here. For now, we're not, not worry about it. The heat wave is on its way down, I'm sure. So yeah, for childcare, it uses social. All right, well, there you go. We'll enable these. I mean, Kermino can't even do childcare. It's amazing. Wow, that's going to be some intense postpartum there or something. I don't know. I wonder if that means she can't breastfeed. I wonder if you can only breastfeed with childcare. Yeah. So Kerminu is not going to be able to feed her own baby. Okay, so we're definitely going to want some food around. What I'll do is I'm going to change it so it doesn't... Uh, we'll keep a minimum of 10. It makes 40 when it makes a batch at times 4, which I'm going to say is fine. Yeah, communally raised kid, that's going to be okay. Oh, you're right. We could build the vent into the room. Now, vents don't instantly vent temperature either. They have a, a slow trickle. Yeah, I guess we'll build it now. We can always close the vent later on if we don't want it for some reason. We can toggle it on and off. But it's gonna, I think it's going to be fine. We will have to build a crib. So I think we're going to do Get some light in the vampire room. The crib is here. We'll just build it out of the wood. Build a crib there. Yeah, we could vent into here for free heating. I mean, we might just merge into the bedrooms to manage it, but the thing is, um, as long as the temperature is... Okay, so that confirms it. Oh, shit, you also have serious heat stroke. That's not good. 0% moving in the final trimester. That seems a little crazy, but... All right. Let's get another, another cooler over here. ASAP.
No, don't rest. Work. Hey, Toxic Fallout. As I say, I'm willing to do it, but I'm not really excited about any of these rewards. I don't think it's worth it. I'll leave it in the queue for now, but... I don't think it's worth it. Seem to rain a fair amount here. Does this not count as enclosed? Oh, because all the doors are open. That's funny. Yeah, we might have to wait for more mine to be done. Yeah, no, we don't actually have enough steel. Um, that's less than ideal. Zapper's asleep. Zapper, come over here and mine. Oh, oh I think I dropped the glass Yeah, apparently we're venting an unroofed area to another one. But apparently we needed it. Things might keep changing, so we'll see. I suppose I could have saved some steel by not doing this right now. I guess, you know what, I will cancel it. Let's make sure Valinor... some more. Freaking medical emergency. Valinor? Yes, work on this cooler. There you go. And I'm wondering... Wait, do you seriously not have power over here? No, you do. I'm wondering if it's worth closing off this vent. this cooler is just working on this. It's also at nighttime, so the outside temperature is getting a bit better. Kiermunu is up! Okay. So, yeah, being pregnant, it must have been with the, the heat stroke. We're getting minus 50% moving, so with the heat stroke level she had, it must have been enough to knock her down. Although, I'd really like it if you just rested right now. Time for a solar flare. Yeah, that's what we need right now to screw up our temperature stuff completely. Okay, I'm gonna reopen this vent. So it'll get a little warmer maybe in hospital, but still generally okay. And then the other thing I wanna do, just to give our, our um, hospital a little more space, is I'm gonna build um, like a two tile wide concrete walkway out here. Sorry, space, I'm more of a buffer for like dirt. I guess we were using a lot of steel for the hex tiles. That's maybe not helping. Do an operation. Yeah, but I don't want to... I'm worried about, like, giving her something that'll just hurt the baby. So I don't want to do that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'll keep this vent cancelled. Okay. We could drop some passive coolers. That's true, too. Although right now, now we're definitely okay. Oh, the heat wave is officially over as well. So now a bunch of these coolers won't be required, but they also won't consume much power. Flash storm. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch of fires now. Thanks, Randy. Herminu, oh, uh, you're gonna keep like falling down. So we won't worry, we won't stress about giving you your gun back right now because we'll probably have to keep equipping it. You'll need a school room with a desk and blackboard eventually, yeah.
install this bed over here. I'm gonna move this lamp just, yeah, just into someone's room somewhere. Oh, there we go. That room there. So often the solar flare ends immediately after you get to sort out the cooling. Or the heat wave, yeah. Finish the heat wave is right when your coolers get set up. Mm -hmm. This is so nice and organized. And yeah, there's still the, the floor is still stockpile. So we might still see some things happen over there. I only got three blood packs. Yeah, we've got a bed for the child right over here. An excellent crib with artwork. Furniture's engraved the image of an empty jock strap. <laughs> the whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of eight worms. The work is shaded in hues of gray and orange. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> Ignore this fire. Hope we get some rain from it. <laughs> Fleeing fire. Oh, pyrophobia. Right. Sarge. You know what? We're going to turn off your firefighting. Vampires of a fear of fire. He failed his uh, rot check. Can't remember what the term is from Vampire the Masquerade. But yeah, Sarge has an absolutely unnatural fear of fire. Well, it's actually somewhat legitimate because Sarge actually, I believe, takes extra fire damage as well. Rockstrek, yeah. Please keep the worms away from my jock strap. I feel like, more importantly, the jock trap should be kept away from the baby. Maybe it's a commentary on, like, birth. Or, like, impregnation. Or something like that. I don't know. All right, yeah, keep working on that. We're gonna need a little bit more steel. Ooh, shoot frenzy. Now, I can't remember what we might have. Worksite, Sadie, and the camp. Oh, we have the three pigs. Yeah, you know what? Let's go deal with that. We're going to send, yeah, Drunken Zapper and then a couple other people with guns to go and deal with these pigs. That sounds good. Thanks for the resubs. Zizian Genetics is fun. You can make absolutely terrible or super overpowered pawns, right? What happens when you turn a pyromatic into a vampire? Ooh. I don't know. All right, let's plan our uh, our caravan now. Oops, from here to wait. Where are we going with the piggies? No, quest. That's not the button I'm looking for. Quests. Jump to bandit camp. That one over there. Okay. Form caravan. But how is caravan formed? So a couple of mailers. We're gonna leave our doctor here. And Sarge, I mean, it's his wife that's giving birth. So we'll go with something like that. Really with the kibble? We're not even we're not bringing an animal. Survival meals, a little bit of herbal meds. This is okay. All right, let's go. Fourth pig lived in the house of wolf skulls. Not very practical, but sends one hell of a message. <laughs> I mean, I guess they could have sent you, Ryan. I don't know. Is there, is there a reason? I'm mean, pretty good at shooting, actually. You know what? You're right. Let's add you to the caravan. Since you specifically requested. Lower our days of food, but we really didn't need very many. All right. Yeah, Sarge needs to be here for the birth. Doc villains are doctor. So that'll kind of help as well. And Eclipse. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they're, the people outside are going to get a dark debuff. Like, mood debuff. But other than that, it's not a big deal. Fourth pig, it's simple. We kill the wolf man. <laughs> and yeah, we do need to finish whacking this. Oh, wait. Kerminu, doing research. Good job. hungry a lot plus 50 it's okay we got you delicious delicious nutrient paste to keep you going um no one's restocked this which might just be a hauling thing doc i'm gonna have you haul. let's still have cook doctor cook haul let's say i'll probably bring in some metal and stuff okay 
Is it actual? No, yeah, it's pig people. It is pig people. Okay. Who's pregnant? Uh, Kerminu is pregnant. She's about to give birth. so slowly. Is it your withdrawal effects? Yeah. Lord consciousness. Okay. I might be double dipping on some of those stats. I shouldn't have sent rhyme at all. Uh, those are frag grenades. Let's definitely make sure we're targeting port. Porty pig over here. Patty pig's not as much of a concern. Thank you. Uh, no friendly fire? Okay. Okay. Let's uh, claim all this so that we can walk in through the door. Port is a wiggler. Do we want to keep... We got jeans. Okay, dead in four hours. You are a nudist. Ah, uh, you don't have anything workable. Like, this might be a good... Pan if you had crafting, planting... Animals we don't need. Social doesn't make much sense. We could grab you for the jeans, but we're going to run into more porky people later. So I don't think that's needed at all. As I say, you're not even wearing any clothes for us to strip. Pigs are great blood farms. <gasps> we do need a blood pack. You're right. I don't even remember what we came here for. Oh, it was a reward. It was a quest reward. Yeah, payment has arrived. Excellent. Okay. Again, I know we don't actually have to unforbid, but it's like, well, just in case, we'll do this. The treatments will continue on the world map, so we're just gonna we'll reform the settle the, the caravan now. Send you over here. We're gonna bring port. Porty pig with us. Class deal. Might as well bring the dies. Ooh, these are actually worth a little bit of money. Not gonna bring the tainted stuff that's worthless. We could bring a fire foam popper with us. Yeah, it's not really gonna change our travel time. Thirty grams worth of leaves. Yeah, we could do some disassembling and stuff, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. All right, if Port makes it back, then yeah, maybe a new uh, blood bank, blood donor. I mean, if need be, we can start extracting blood from our own people, but it wouldn't be ideal. I think two regular people provide slightly over the required number of blood packs for vampires to stay alive, and with a buffer. Yeah, payment over here, which includes the medical skill trainer, which gives us a bunch of skill. Um, I don't think we need to give it to Doc, because I don't think they'll actually gain much from it. Um, we might just want to save this. Speaking of Doc... I guess you should prioritize hauling it before it rots out. And then... That as well. Okay. Make sure I empty both arms and legs so you can't get away. So I'm just wondering about saving it for like a secondary doctor person. I might even do that now. Even without someone with passion, we might just set up a secondary doctor. I'm not giving Kerminu a weapon just because I assume she's going to go into bed rest again and drop it, but maybe she won't. She doesn't have anything else going on. We're researching microelectronics. Oh, no, mortars first. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I can put two good research labs here. Oh, that can be flagged for medical as well. Yeah, I'll move from over here. I'm going to uh, remove this floor. So we get some of the silver back from our sterile stuff. And I can deconstruct the uh, excess wall here now. That's going to be fine. Teen and Collins isn't too bad either. Only real debuff is the social damage. Oh. Combat supplier. Interesting. He's sleeping in a way, yeah. We still don't have bedrolls. 
which actually we could do. Um, maybe just queue up some cloth bedrolls. Mortar's good now. Well, it turns out they've, they've kind of always been good. They're just really frustrating, at least to me. But no, it turns out they're actually a really important part of our defense. We need, yeah, need barrels. Like, it's expensive, but yeah. Ooh, who's infected? Port. Eh. Porty pig. Also, Rhyme Pendragon is super cranky. How come? Oh, well, Psychite. Caravan has arrived. Okay. Now, are you going to do the thing where you just dump the prisoner on, like... They're just on wander. Like, what's the deal, man? Okay, Kermunu is doing something. Okay, you're going to go and escort the prisoner. Okay. As long as I don't counsel that, I guess we're going to be okay. Uh, speaking of her disrespected... Oh, because they're not supposed to be in beds. I know, but I didn't realize they get fed so quickly. Just gonna uninstall these beds. Yeah, we might not have any psychic tea left. We are growing some psychoid plants over here and there. Um, what I might be able to do is force a little bit of quick harvest. Oh, never mind. I think I gotta stop selling my tea. Um, Sarge, I know you're asleep, but Kermunu's busy. So let's go and have you have a chat over here. I mean, he's got to walk across the map to try to interact with people. Um, we could buy some regular medicine. Oh, we have a bunch of psychic tea. Maybe it was made while they were away. Um, I'm not going to sell these. I will go and sell some random weapons that aren't even worth much. That's the stuff we didn't bother to haul because it was going to be heavy. Yeah, we'll just clear a bunch of that out. We're going to sell the simple, the steel helmets because we're moving on to frag now. Well, maybe I'll keep this good one just in case we're short one helmet for now. We'll just grab that. I think I'll probably just sell for silver here. Oh, the, the three little pigs had a bunch of tea. Okay. So, Rhyme, did you end up drinking the tea? Oh, you did consume a little, yeah. And your recreation unfulfilled while, while you were out on the road, probably. Because at this point... Yeah, we've got the we got the hoopstone, so they can satisfy um, their dexterity need and their logic need. Although ideally, the poker table and billiards table would um, would be more effective at that. But. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Hey, Muppet! Thanks for the reset. Sorry, I'm probably missing a bunch of those. Yeah, I seem to be very arbitrary whether I refer to someone as he or she <laughs> a lot of the times. Deal with it. My colonies are all gender fluid, whether they want to or not. <laughs> uh, all right, Pory Pig. So, oh yeah, you have the major infection in your leg. Oh, well, that's got to go. How convenient. How convenient. There you go. Mortar tech. All right. Microelectronics. There you go. We'll let that get treated, but that worked. No more infection. See, we totally saved your life. Aren't you happy? In fact, as a preventative measure, we should probably get rid of your other leg, too. We haven't set the blood feed yet. I'm just going to wait until the operations are done. Although, remind me after that. Because I will forget. Does having lower manipulation affect it? All right, flame beard, move away, move away. Good job. Now, I think, if I recall correctly, I checked this in my own game. I believe this mechanoid transponder has zero flame ability to prevent this from, like, burning. And it's raining right now, so you know what? I don't actually have to worry about 
anything here. Although speaking of, I should minimize these home zones again. Surgery failed. Oh, that's the peg leg. And that's the reason I don't want to start the the blood um, the blood collection yet because if we're gonna bork some of these surger uh, surgeries, bork the pork. But it's giving us good practice, you know. Interesting, they're feeding berries and not a nutrient paste meal. Huh. Right leg. Try again. How long until death rest is needed is a great question that I don't know the answer to. Is it a timer here? No? Is it something over here? Oh! That one, that is here. It is a need. Okay. About 10 days. Okay. Mechanoid transponder has been left behind. It can be decrypted at a research bench. So I don't think it matters who decrypts it, because I think what it does is it allows us to call in something, right? Like call in a quest, like calls in a ship. Um, I, the rain didn't last long enough. That's really annoying. <sighs> oh, pigs can eat raw food without penalties. Oh, cool. How do they feel about kibble? Calls mechs for you to take on. Yeah, that's what I remember seeing. It like crashes a ship, you like fight a couple of mechs, and then you collect the the mech controller thing from like the dead mechanoid dude mechanoid controller i think that's what i remember saying i think i, I played I, I did a start or maybe i did the quest on another i don't remember maybe i just saw someone else do it that's possible okay we could potentially stop mining after that Okay, what's the quest expiring? Paid Toxic Fallout. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on this. I think the Toxic Fallout's going to be kind of annoying for us, and, the, like, the rewards aren't that impressive. I mean, we could deal with the Toxic Fallout, but... There you go. Rains for weeks all until you get a fire. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it should... Uh... Oh, I think it did get hauled in. Anon Giles, thanks for typing, taking the time away from being a watcher to come and watch. Dun, dun, dun. Secret conduct. Yes. Um, right. We have to send six colonists out to hack the thing. It's not on a timer, though. Although I will want to do it because I really want that gun. I really want the really awesome laser. Yeah, growing Devil Strand for ages. We've had a few harvests, which is the reason we've got some people in red. We might even have a few... Hey! They changed the way the items are stacked. Okay, see, there have been a few um, RimWorld, like, you know, downloads that I've noticed, but I assume those were um, game updates. So it's not actually a uh, game patch listed. Or did they change it before release? Was it only in the Unstable? Because they had, like, the three items, but they're kind of overflowing and looking weird. It looks like what they did now is shrink the sprites down so they all fit properly on the shelf, which is so much better. I said S for one, let alone six. Well, this is the six to go and hack a place. You would want to send a lot of people because there might be some things to fight. This is not just borrowing a worker for a day. We already did that one. And we did send one worker for a day. Hey, peg leg. Good. And now let's remove the right leg. <laughs> Rimworld dev discord. Yeah, I think I even checked the, uh, the, the, the Reddit for it. I was like, surely someone's going to post something. Hey, thanks for the bits. Mad dog. All right, harmful surgery, done. Yeah, I mean, they hate us forever, that's fine. Now that that's done, we're gonna get ham-flavored blood. Mmm, delicious. Wait. So, oh, but hold on, there's also blood feed. Wardens will ignore this prisoner. When the pr blood, pr blood feeder's hemogen levels are low, they may feed on this prisoner. Other prisoners... Okay, so this extracts the blood packs. This will make it so that our vampires will automatically go feed them. But it says wardens will ignore this prisoner. Does that mean we don't feed them? This is just a way to sentence them to death for a little while? Or will they get fed meals? No, they are fed. Okay, so wardens are going to ignore them as in not do social interactions. 
but they will still be fed. Oh, so we'll just do this then. Image of a farm only useful for blood feeding or blood transfer. So with blood feed might be better then. It's way better. Do we get more blood this way than if we were just taking the hemogen packs? Now, yeah, we might want some packs or travel. What I'll do is I'll set one. Maybe if we get a second one, I'll put the second one on the hemogen farm and leave the first one on the blood feed. Or something like that, you know? Blood packs are good for combat. It's true, we can use it for doing a blood transfer to our people as well. But yeah, we'll have to get a second one, I think. Can I rename you? No, I can't rename you as a prisoner. You need to be recruited. You don't specifically need packs. Feeding directly is less expensive. I would love to rename them. The blood pack provider in a sterile room. I guess that's a thing. If they're going to keep getting, um, yeah, like the blood extraction and maybe bleed a little bit, they could theoretically get an infection. So sterile room might be good for that. Oh, you're vomiting. Probably because the anesthesia that's left over, right? Reduce pain. Strong immunity. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we're not as worried about infections. Bites don't bleed? Oh, okay, cool. I blood lost from open wounds. Blood feed, blood pack, both give 20 hemogen. Yeah, we do have a low food warning right now. God, okay, we are growing way too much hay. That's all race. This is all hay. And a little more there. I can probably cancel this. I'm actually... We are all right. Unless we don't need cook meals. We still have the nutrient paste dispenser. We might turn this into something else, though. Or just cancel it for now. I definitely don't need more hay. Um, I guess what I should have done is just disable sewing so we at least get the hay. Oh, I'll do that. That's going to be fine. Psychoid plant. This is only rice. Hang on. So it's still a little bit of hay. That's fine. Psychoid. Okay. 140... With more people... No, we actually do need more rice to be growing here. Do we have any more rich soil that we can easily reach? Because there's that, and there's that. Okay. I think I'm just going to expand the rice to include some non-rich soil. Or I could grow potato... I mean... It's, there's non-rich soil, it's still positive um, food. Or, like, it's it's 100% fertility over here. So it's not like we're taking a hit. Yeah, we'll keep growing rice, because it's a nice, consistent source of food. I, I'm really liking it. It does take extra labor from corn, so that's why you would normally... I used to prefer corn. I mean, I suppose I could mix and match, but this way everything keeps stacking nicely. And yeah, the corn is just... Uh, the rice is just a constant supply coming in. So yeah, you want about 15 tiles of rich soil per colonist, assuming year-round growth, which we do have. Um, so, because A, it's not all rich soil, and B, or no, it's not all rich soil, but we do have a year-round growth, but we do need a little bit more going on, so that should be okay. Although, I don't think we're actually that short on food, but we could use a little bit more. We could grow rice in the kill box. That is true, because that would auto-chop the trees. I mean, I've got a, a grow zone over here, um, with allow sowing turned off so any mature trees gets auto chop. We could do that. Of course, then it's extra susceptible to like fire starting here and destroying our food. Corn maize in the kill box. That's funny. Corn maize. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You know what? Let's let's do shelving for a couple of different reasons. But yeah, you are absolutely right. I'm gonna get a double shelf over here for hay, and I'm going to keep a small shelf over here for the kibble. We're not out of wood, but I may as well keep the trees chopped over here for a little whatevs. And you know, if there is any mature trees over here in the kill box, let's go and get rid of them right away.
Actually, the trees here annoy. You know what I should do is I should get some more concrete for him. Why does the concrete even need steel? I mean, we're not putting rebar into our flooring. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, the shelves have them fast. Clear. Important. Hey. Clear. Important. Good. Boy. Good. Why do shelves look like that? I believe it's because of our ideology. Uh, we've got a bunch of hexes as a thing because of our uh, futuristic kind of ideology. We could probably run some rituals. Maybe get some more people. Let's unforbid this. It's going to take a lot of steel to finish these hex floors, but it'll look nice. Cement floor equals no rebar concrete. Floor equals rebar. Um, they they could definitely reach in the shelves before. Unless something changed now that the built-in shelves can multi-stack, the animals should be able to access the food in here. Why do sculptures need cut stone instead of chunks? I can see what you're doing, but I guess, you know, you did used to order, like, a big block of cut marble or whatever, right, for their construction. <laughs> we do have this still set to be mined currently. Yeah, we only have 200 steel left currently, but that's okay. And we've got another steel seam over there, but that is it. We may have to do the thing where we set up a little temporary colony somewhere. Uh, looks like... Oh, the fire burned through there, so there's no more uh, ambrosia in that area. Oh, we do have more compacted steel over there. God, I like this colorblind mod. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we could... Uh, well, first of all, we could go and attack the mining sites, which we know there's a steel mining site not too far away. We still have the quest. I'm kind of waiting until that baby pops, but maybe now's the time. Let's, um... Okay. I guess, okay, I should accept it. I mean, it's not timed out. Oh, no, this is send six people. Farming worksite. Looting. Worksite, worksite. Okay, ancient compound. This is one we can get for some info. We're gonna need to do, what, three of these? Five. Five infos. I just know Randy is gonna send us a raid as soon as I do this. Oh yeah, we do have um, we do have a smelter. I don't think I set up the chunk smelting, but I guess I could set a do forever over here because you're right. We do have a lot of slag around the map for steel. Okay, so yeah, actual steel is gonna be okay. So yeah, I guess we'd send Sarge out to go and hack the site. All right, let's try to do a little hack here. Six people. Okay. You're gonna be gone when your your wife is giving birth, aren't you? Okay. Let's go. And your sidecaster that has a biz. Oh, that actually is kind of interesting. Realize it instantly departed. All right, doctor's here with Kerminu, who's pregnant, and Valinor for maybe some extra construction. Okay, new map. Now, over here. Actually, those are two separate rooms. <laughs> instantly go to bed. Listen, it's really annoying, actually. Wait, what? That's the path you're taking? Oh, you can't reach there. Well, hold on. Okay, that's fine. Claim, hold open. Get everyone over here. Well, that's happening immediately. while to burn, doesn't it? There you go. Okay. It's 
So because this wall is down, this counts as part of the outdoors. So no one's going to get too hot. As long as nothing else explodes or no one touches fire. I just realized Sarge is here. He doesn't like to do firefighting. Fair enough, Sarge. I'm going to get you to deconstruct this wall, though. And then you'll probably run away. No? I'm going to cut through all this. All right, that's fine. Okay, there's the terminal. Information about the really awesome laser. Stable fuel mode here. You can strike that as well. Oh. Zapper, you dumbass. <laughs> ah. Get out of here. Get get out! Oh, you're surrounded by fire. Okay, at least that door is about to be held open for one. And Scallop Scott is still working on stuff, and Zapper's currently on fire. Flamebeard, can you go and extinguish Zapper, please? Stupid fucking people. Actually, you can all get out now. No, Zapper, seriously, get out. Get out. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thanks. Okay. Let's just deconstruct this, and then there won't be any more superheated air. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Done. These people are just so dumb. Sarge, why don't you start the hack? Um, there's no opening these crates is all completely safe, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the unstable fuel nodes are fine. They're easy enough to deal with. I just didn't realize we had a pawn that was going to be that dumb. <gasps> Your moon is in labor! Sarge, start the hack. Well, actually, come here. Open. Open. Is that Lucy? Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize there's an extra section here. Hold on. Sarge, deconstruct that wall as well. Hold on. I bet. <laughs> World's least useful door. Excellent. Okay. Go and hack. <laughs> oh. There's another one there. Oh. Check the labor letter. We've got stuff to do. Okay. About to give birth. She's going to have contractions for a few hours before delivering the baby. The labor may go through several stages of different levels of difficulty and danger. To improve the baby's chances, gather a doctor and others to help with the birth. Select your menu and press gather for birth. Oh my god. Should I add more people? Okay, for me new. Okay, you're in the hospital bed. Gather for birth. Participant roles required. Mother, doctor. Okay. Spectators. I can't believe the husband isn't there. Loved one present. Are you at least friends? Oh, you are friends with Valinor. Okay, that's gonna help a little bit. Okay. 80% quality. Oh man. We have a 3% chance the child is stillborn and a 0.7% chance the mother dies. Okay. Okay, the father's doing really important stuff. He's hacking terminals to find out about a super awesome laser gun. The doc villain has inspired surgery. I don't know if that's going to help with the birth process. But I'll take it. Oh, there's another fucking fuel node over there. I missed that. Let's hope we don't get XCOM'd. Yeah. Okay, these guys hitting the wall on the outside does absolutely nothing for fight fires. All of you, go inside. Well, hold on. Go there, except for Sarge, because you don't fight fires. Get inside the room. Thank you. And now go and fight fires in here. All right, Sarge, go back to hack. Healthy birth! Kermino's given birth to a healthy baby! 
Total quality was 80%. Nice, baby brain. We're gonna rename the baby. Where's my Twitch? Manage reward request. The next one in the queue of high priority names is Grumpy Oldie. So first name, Grumpy. I like how your last name has nothing to do with either parents. Your last name's gonna be Kursarge, Kur Dragonis. There you go, Grumpy Kur, Kur Dragonis, known to all as Grumpy Oldie. Like that, so that's gonna be your nickname. Excellent. Grumpy Kur Dragonis, nicknamed Grumpy Oldie. Woo, title is newborn. Wait, are you not selectable? Oh, because you're being carried right now. <gasps> breastfeeding, wait, you do breastfeed? But your childcare doesn't, oh my God, we have no one here who can do childcare. <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, well, I mean, Doc can do it, just can't do it very well. Okay. <laughs> you know, Rhyme Pendragon, you are super cranky and no drugs here. Okay, you're asleep and hungry. Okay, that's fine. Complete the hack. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here because the raid is happening. Um, wait, where are you? No, that's fine. Raid. Now, the shuttle's about to land, yes? Is it, oh, there it is. Oh, shit. No, no. Okay, I thought the raid was on the way. Those are all animals. Everybody, get to the choppa. Oh, the raid's just like one person? Man, let's just go anyway. Although, hold on. Right, we have to manually... Oh, I don't think I can un cancel load. Is it going to eject my people? Okay, it's good. Hang on. You know what, Rhyme? You go in there, because I'm hoping it's going to stop you from having an annoying break. Got to remember when there's a serious raid that we've got the combat command. Pick up, don't take. I'm just gonna grab the Lucy and nothing else. Okay, drunk, you're really slow. Get the shuttle. Flame beard. Pick up. Oh, I could set the load to pick up things. That's true too. But I think as long as it's in their inventory. Oh no, you're gonna drop it again. Okay. Cancel load. Set load. Yeah, I guess we just do it this way. Grab that. Okay. You know what then? Bring the chem fuel, bring the medicine, bring the Lucy, bring a little steel. Don't bring any dead people. Load slot. Okay. That happened instantly? I guess because of the nature of the quest stuff? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. That was great. Rhyme. Okay, you're getting your psych IT. Good deal with that addiction yeah one of the times the difference between pick up and take is very important yeah it's like okay go over there take the uh take the lucy and drop it off over there what was that you want me to take the lucy okay yeah we have a crib right over there and now we actually have some people who can do child care right, i'm gonna put those at one i don't care who does it oh her dropped her gun again seems pretty legit Oh, there we go. We got Grumpy Oldie. Oh my God, he's so cute. <laughs> you can see who can feed the baby on the baby feeding tab. Oh. Oh. We'll feed Grumpy Oldie day or night, even if Carmina is not assigned to childcare or is incapable of childcare. Oh. So because, I guess because Carmina is lactating, they will do it all the time. These people will try to feed the baby using baby food as part of the child care job. If they're assigned to child care, which some of them are. Okay, that's really neat. My first baby, you guys. Grumpy bean. Yes, little bean. All right, research is researching. Burning through a lot of extra steel over here, but you know what? It's gonna look cool. Let's inspect the baby. The baby should have like nothing going on, right? Yeah, no skills listed, no traits currently. We need to get uh, some education happening. 
right? We're gonna have to plant in like a daycare and a school. Jeans, they shouldn't have any jeans because they're, yeah, they're just a baseliner. That's it. Education starts at age three. Okay. So under biotech would be, oh, that's not where the baby stuff is. I guess it's all, or the chilled stuff is all under here. You can set up the toy box. I mean, I put it in here. I think we're gonna set up a nursery. Maybe, I know we're talking about gene banks and stuff. Maybe I'll put the nursery next to the hospital. Feels like we should put down carpeting here. Test mine upper right corner of compound. Over here, the exploratory one. Yeah, I mean, we're still digging this, although it kind of makes a lot of sense, right? What the hell? Let's do it. Run that. I'm going to do another one here. We'll definitely have to fill this one in so that we don't get an insect infestation here. I'll probably want to fill this one in as well so that it doesn't, like, backflow into our territory. Yeah, you know, we'll do those. Okay. Hermino, you're back up. How's your health? Lactating. Okay, cool. So you're going to go and feed. Postpartum exhaustion does slow down your movement. Okay. Let's feed. Where are going? Oh, you're going to the chair. Oh! Look at the symbols. These symbols, I think the babies, the children can draw on the floor, too, when they're playing. Put a chair next to the crib. Excellent idea. You know what? We should put a comfy chair there. We can move it later. Hold on. How much human leather do we have? How much do we need for the cloth chair? Oh, 111. The only thing... Yeah! Human leather armchair it is. Uh, Valinor, could you get on that right away? Fetch the comfy chair! Need a rocking chair mod? Yeah. Okay, Kerminu, I know you're tired, but I'm going to get you to re-equip your gun here. Before we forget some more. Human leather chair, be close to your family. A bit of disturbed sleep, but you know what? There's gonna be a lot of that with the baby. Come on, legendary. Yeah, masterwork! Masterwork human leather chair. We're doing all the Rimworld memes this time around. Oh! We got components in there. Oh, we got steel in here! Well, shit. Okay, well, we definitely want to mine out all the steel that's near the base. Please, no insect thing right now. Although, at least it's not inside the house. Low food. We are legitimately getting a little low on food here. Let's go hunting. There you go. Rhyme's gonna go at it. Rhyme's, if I reset you. No, you're gonna go do some meditating, which is fine. But yeah, you're quite good at, at, at hunting, at shooting, so that'll be okay. Timberwolf. Apparently there's a hunger tim hungry Timberwolf. <sighs> Oh, that is so close. Now, Scallop Scott is automatically sent to fight. Is it going to be able to get a shot off? You got one off. Okay, I know you're not really going to be able to escape the wolf, but you're also not really going to be able to shoot it. I'm going to get you to start moving anyway, just because it brings you a little closer to our shooters. And you're not going to be able to get a shot. You'll be able to, like, use the butt of your gun to hit this thing, but it's not going to do enough damage. I'm just doing this to try to get you within range of help ASAP. Fudge! actively shooting if I do see some freaking timber wolves on the map. Scallop Scott. I mean, he was only here really as to be a fighter, but... <sighs> the wolf or friendly fire got him. Oh. Yeah, no, it was just all wolf stuff. That was a 14-year-old, that's right. I wonder if she had fewer hit points because she was young. 
I don't know if that's a thing. Bite wound caused Scout Scout to die. Ugh. I guess I can cancel this mining for now, anyway. Although someone's still got to bring that steel in. And it is, yes, Keenan just died very easily. Really? Wow. Run for the Reviver. Yeah, I don't think there's any mech Resurrector Serum available in our quest right now. We don't have graves, no. Why, why would we bury perfectly good meat? <laughs> don't worry. We make sure to use every part of the Scallop Scott. Doc? Yeah, there you go. Butchering. Oh, I think he's butchering the, uh, or she's butchering the, uh, wolf first. Oh, and then cooking some meals. No, man. Let's do some more butchering. There you go. Thanks, Doc. Can't let that meat rot. That would be terrible. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Which? Hey, dumb boy! <laughs> Hope you enjoy a little bit of cannibalism! Ooh, our temple is looking very nice now. Let's actually run, uh, let's run a symposium. 94% quality, nice. Yeah, basically everything's maxed out here other than participants. Moderate expectations, excellent crib, parents are happy. Oh, the parent, <laughs> and I love this. I remember seeing screenshots of this. Hey Quill, pay attention, there's a new subscriber. Well, some part of Scout Scott will all be Basically, we're doing Strange Land in Strange Land. James Dean for sure! Hey, thanks for the sub. Babies don't even get a hat worth of leather. Yeah, no, it can't actually hit. Grumpy Oldie can't walk, so I can't draft them. Unforgettable Symposium? Cool. Bull three hit trap. Wait, what? Why are you? Why are we out there? Because this door is jammed open. Pen not enclosed. Yep. This door is jammed open. And then the rest of them are like, I'm intentionally leaving them open to do bait. I suppose maybe I'll close this one actually. Could someone, um, don't do hauling. Nino? Can you haul that melt, please? Thanks. And you hit a goddamn trap. <sighs> Maybe I'll keep this one closed as well, so we have an extra buffer in case something gets jammed there. There we go. Because, yeah, otherwise they could come through here and escape as well. And I guess I need to keep this one closed. All right, yeah, at least, I mean, with our stockpile reachable, that should still be bait for raiders. Starvation. Oh, Doc Bellum. Well, you will be. Go, eat, eat your nutrient taste meal. Good job. It's a Sarge. So you're gonna go... I didn't set you. There you go, you go feed. Yeah, I think you just dropped below 50%. Nom 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 nom. Oh, we don't get that much. I kinda feel like I wanna increase this number. Give you more of a buffer when things should happen. Blood feeder mark on the neck. Two small puncture wounds. Awesome! I love it. Okay. He's feeding the baby! Feeding the baby! Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Let's... Okay, is it a uh, quest button I hit for the... No, I right-click on the uh, mech thing, right? Okay, hold on. Let me put... I don't know where it is in all this. Let me put a little stockpile zone here. Clear. Critical. For the mechy thingy. Well, you know what? Actually. Is it a mech link that we got? Mech node? Mech booster? What is the thing that we got from tearing this apart? Or is it still there? No, it's not still there. Still have loose hey, cool. hey, now that the pen is enclosed, our um, animal handler, drunk shooter, should go and take care of those. Do we still have loose animals? 
So I think he would go and get it. So maybe not. We have cows outside. Mad tortoises. How many? Three. They're annoying to shoot. Transponder, is that what it's called? Okay. <laughs> it's gonna take them forever to get to the front. Okay, no, there's one there. Okay. I guess their underbelly is soft, so it might be fine. Oh, the transponder? Mechanoid transponder. Okay, so someone's gonna haul it there, so I don't have to look through it in all this. Oh, bull three died from the blood loss from the trap. I mean, we probably pulled away the uh, the health. Where the hell is the rest of the... Okay, there's one there. And one there. I think the traps will just keep getting them. Oh my god, it's coming straight for us! I love the angry turtle sounds. Yeah, okay. Looks like we're gonna be fine. As long as no one wanders into the path of this tortoise. Who isn't going for our kill zones, because they are just, they're too far away to notice it path that way. I'm just worried that if I don't baby, that if I don't take care of it, oh! That automatically ended its um, manhunting because it went to sleep, but done. Okay. We'll finish it anyway, because we can. All right, smelter jobs are present. Machining table jobs, basically just more flak helmets. And shred. Oh, the smithy. So, kid's helmet, yeah. So what I want here, um, mostly I want, I'm gonna want the uranium mace jobs. Or no, I'm not, I don't even need that, because we've got those. So I guess I don't really need the electric smithy right now, but we've got the power, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave it for now. Read the description. Oh, yes! The description of the kid's helmet is hilarious. A simple helmet sized for children. It gives moderate protection against sharp attacks. Not effective against blunt weapons. That said, if this is being used in combat, something has already gone very wrong. <laughs> I guess we have animal filth because some, some, some things wandered in through our place. A drunk shooter should be doing a fair amount of cleaning. We'll drop some more flooring in places. This room's gonna be awesome. Like, this is cool. I love the way the flooring looks here. Excellent. A little bit of feeding. Consequences to having animal corpses decompose in the open. Um, when they do rot, they do now put out a little, like, gaseous pollution thing. Doc should butcher them at some point. Yeah, right now. Oh, you're out of the pen. Uh, again, Drunk Shooter. I might have to wake you up. Prioritize groping you. Drunk Shooter is... Oh, I guess Drunk Shooter's clean was set to a 1. That's what I didn't realize. That's why he was never getting around to it. Also, oh, you kept some of these construction tasks from uh, before. It used to be when, a, when you changed something on a caravan... I'm going to get more people on Construct here. When you change something on a caravan, it, um, it wouldn't apply when they came back to base. But it did remember their construction jobs. Maybe that's changed. And yeah, the cleaning was set to too high of a priority on Drunk Shooter. We are almost out of food, which is why we had set up some hunting, which we're going to do some more. Let's, let's get some horses for being able to ride Mare and a Stallion. And then we'll hunt a little bit more. I mean, there's still a little bit of meat left, actually. You know what? We're not actually as low on food as it kind of looks. But yeah, we'll hunt a couple more. And a harvest is currently happening. Oh, yeah. So it's just not in our stockpile. Okay, we don't need to hunt. I do want to see about getting the um, the mare and the stallion. And in fact, since we don't really need to do much ranching, we could decide to get rid of the cows and just keep the horses going. Area revealed. Oh, okay. Barely, but yes. Mine out all this, because I want to seal this in. Fugitive outpost. Okay, hi Stellark, sent us a message, nearby camp, asking us to destroy the camp. Four Edikins. I don't mind killing them. I guess we could do it for the gold. Because I don't think this would represent something very difficult. 
How's the rhino training going? They are at one of two attack. They're nearly ready to go. I don't think I can assign you... Oh yeah, there you go. You are already falling drunk shooter, which is perfect. And yeah, we'll have you in as attack animal. Or someone's doing field work for some reason. Yeah, just follow drunk shooter around. Is it almost four? Oh my god. Oh, that's right. They, the the Itakins can summon animals to fight for them. That might all of a sudden become a little hairy. Okay, my car Oh, I did finish the mortar attack. I forgot about that. We should get those up. I think I'm going to put them over here. It seems like a relatively good area. Um, or you know what? Maybe I want them here so that we can quickly go from mortaring to joining the front. Maybe that's going to be the plan, actually. I'm going to put a little... Place between them. We'll get four mortars set up. Oh, I need to be able to build uh, mortar shells. Which... High explosive shells. I think they stack to 25. I might just keep 25. We need chem fuel for that. Uh, which probably means we need to research chem fuel refining. Yeah. I'm going to build a single wooden shelf over here, and another one, actually. One will keep the spare barrels on, and one will keep the high explosive shells on. More parts into two sections avoid counter battery fire. Hmm. I see what you're saying. I think I'll, I'll just keep it here. That's going to be okay. Okay. So, this is going to be our kids' room. Right next to the hospital and stuff. Seems reasonable to me. In case something happens. I mean, kids are pretty dumb. They're probably going to kill themselves. That's what that's what they do in real life. It's like, kids are actively trying to kill themselves. It's like, why is it so hard to try to keep you alive? Stop being so dumb. I know, your brain hasn't developed yet, but seriously. Fill the room, the kids' room with skull spikes and skeletons. Yeah, we could put down some spike traps, too. You should build a wall between the shells to cure the, in case the rack goes off. Uh, that's a good point, actually. Actually, what I'll do is I'll set this one... I don't think the, the, the facing matters. But I'll do a little something like this. There you go. Let the shells explode. And they'll be low contained. Solar flare. That's not the worst time for it to happen. And a masterwork small shelf. Oh, I forgot to get my unskilled people to do the shells, but that's okay. So, I'm going to clear this. We're going to have this be critical for barrels. Yeah, my plan is to put some carpeting down in here. Oh, I don't think I have the carpet tech, do I? Alright. Five finger fillet table in the kids' room. Ah! You need a roof over them. Over what? The mortars? No, you don't want a roof. I don't think they can fire if there's a roof over them. And in terms of the shelves, they count account as being roofed. Hey, Mad Dog, thanks for the gift sub to Matamori. Human leather carpets. And another human leather chair in there, yeah. Well, probably, because we're going to move the... Um, we'll probably move the cribs into this. And then we can put the human leather breastfeeding chair in there, too. Right? Okay, okay, lots of herbal meds. So this is clearly keeping pace just fine. Carmina, why are you even awake? This should be your sleep. Oh, yeah, because you're full of sleep. Okay, right, so this here, we're going to clear this critical priority for high explosive shells. Cool. Okay. Where should we store the high explosive shells? Next to the nursery! I mean, okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> and the hospital. Waste rat sitting? Herder has, makes a request. He wants you to take care of four waste rats for 24 days. Waste rats are favorite pets. Masterwork heavy SMG. Sandstone masterwork bed is less exciting. Masterwork SMG is pretty good. Do they create waste rats or do they work like goom rats where if they die, they leave pollution behind? 
Yes, flooring is unnecessary wealth, but I'm getting to the point where I just want to make things pretty. We've been trying to manage wealth, but I kind of want pretty floors. You'll notice our main room doesn't have it or anything like that, neither the storage room, but I'm starting to do the rest. And once you start flooring, you kind of have to keep going, because otherwise the dirt situation doesn't improve things. Waste rats are just bigger, tougher rats. And wealth creates fun, exactly. Um, I'm going to say yes, a masterwork weapon is pretty useful. We might just end up selling that bed. What am I going to do? Waste rats. Toxin adapted variant of the common rat. Waste rats have evolved to be pollution resistant as well as larger, tougher, and more aggressive. Their bite infects your attacker with toxic buildup. Oh, okay. So they don't like naturally provide toxic buildup or anything. Oh, they're not um they're not the ones we have to keep healthy all the time. Okay, well let's just go into the pen. I'll be fine. Alright. That's cool. Put the beds in the prison? Oh the animal beds. Ooh. Where are we at? Oh shit! We're above 80, which should mean... No artificial parks. Ah, that's really annoying. I'm surprised. I guess it's not an easily fixable one, so I don't have to move. I would like to burn off 10k worth of wealth. What would be great is a trade caravan right now, so we could downgrade some of the wealth into something useful. Um, yeah, so, you know, flooring problems. Yeah, now everyone wants an artificial park. And they move from low expectations to moderate expectations, so they're getting less of a boost that way. And the people with titles are even higher up in terms of needs. Yeah, sky high expectations now for Sarge Dragonas, so no mood buff in there. Hmm. I do have some unused jade. We could make more jade walls. I want the replace mod to make that easier. Or I could just use the jade fence trick. Yeah, we could, maybe we just make our own caravan. Did we ever tame those horses? Well, we probably weren't because Drunk Shooter wasn't actively doing proper stuff. We do need to finish the kids' room. I want to finish the carpeting. Yeah, first. I don't know. Kids are disgusting. We should probably just put down some tiles. They're easier to clean, right? They're also not flammable, which is nice. Yeah, no, a, um, the replace mod has been updated. I was just, because it technically breaks vanilla gameplay, with this playthrough, the only mods I'm running are mods that don't change any of the vanilla gameplay, and replace mod does. It's only a tiny bit, but it does. Microelectronics done. I was gonna backfill something. Oh, biofuel refining. But yeah, like, really, we could just keep planting daylilies because they're gorgeous. They're actually prettier than a crafted floor and don't add any wealth. The daylilies are amazing for that. Because then they only need 30% light, so a regular lamp works fine for them. But it looks silly to me. So at some point, <clears throat> at some point, I stop. Maybe I should just load the replace mod. Make my life a lot easier for the jade walls. It actually wouldn't be bad to, like, jade wall all this. Can't do jade floors, no. Yeah, it's filthy. We don't have as much cleaning going on right now. I'm not going to worry about it right now, because we don't have any medical things happening, but I'll have to remember to get it clean. You're still in bed. Like, seriously, get up. Go tame some animals. Thank you. Once we've got a breeding pair of horses, I think I will go and cull the, um, the cattle. We're not going to get milk anymore, but I'm not really concerned about that. Yeah, so wealth... So two things. The thing is, like, 
Wealth in general just increases the strength of raids. Um, there's no special breakpoints. There's slightly different curves, different amounts, but basically you can think of wealth as a linear progression for the strength of raids. Um, and this can come from a variety of things. Uh, certainly their colonists is one of the big contributors to raid points. Uh, but yeah, so overall, more wealth equals more dangerous raids. We're out of components, which is affecting the repairs here. Speaking of components, we need some more over here though. Um, but the big thing for us, the reason we were concerned is because as um, transhumanists, as long as we're below, like we're 80K and below wealth, our people don't demand artificial parts. But once we get beyond that point, then they start to want artificial body parts. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to start filling this in for two reasons. One, I do not want places with overhead mountain. Um, oh, this is thin roof, is it? Oh, okay. There we go, dark green over here. Places with overhead mountain roofs, which are what these dark green ones are, those are places where insects can spawn. Um, and I don't want them to be able to spawn inside my base. Uh, and I also, because when, when they trigger, they start from a central spot, that's a roof, but then they can pick an area around it for things to start to dig out of it. So theoretically, if there's overhead uh, overhead mountain here, it could cause some insects to appear inside the base during an infestation. Like they'd be centered here, but they'd spawn sort of here. Um, so I want to go and fill that in with wall. But also, I want to make sure that when we finish digging all this up, there's not a path to the outside. As it turns out, though, there's not as much overhead mountain as I thought. So I'm going to go and plan on, like, I guess it's fine right now. I guess I could at least just build in some doors. I'll just drop a door here and here, and then we'll, we'll improve it later. But then if there's a door here and here, that means I can mine out the rest of the steel and not actually um, have a connection to the outside. So let's start with that. The kid didn't melt. It does a body good. Uh, theoretically, we have some baby food. Yeah, we have we have 40 jars of baby food ready to go. Um, and But we, we're actually using it right now because Carmina is continuing to do the breastfeeding. If you dig most of the outsport with pillars, shoot pillars won't collapse. Well, that's true. And I guess that would refill in some of those areas. The rest of these components, because we can. Yeah, once the doors are up, I'm going to mine out the rest of this heal here. I, got, I can't believe it's 4 o'clock already. I feel like we've only been streaming an hour. We've been streaming for four hours. Oh, I have my pizza I can finish. So exciting. Exotic goods trader. That might be a good way to convert some of our wealth as well. So whenever you make a trade, you you don't get full value out of your stuff, right? So at, with selling stuff and buying stuff, both those lower your wealth overall. And the idea is to convert wealth that isn't helping you survive into wealth that is helping you survive. So we're kind of eager to do that. In fact, I could even sell these cows. If I'm thinking of, yeah. Let me sell the most valuable cows that aren't pregnant, and then we'll end up butchering some more after that. That's going to be okay. Let's buy components because we always want to buy more components. I think I'm going to sell the Lucy for now. We don't have anyone with dementia. We don't want, we've got a couple of people with chemical interest. We don't want them going on a drug binge and suddenly becoming addicted to Lucy. That would be really annoying for us. I'm gonna sell these skill trainers, actually. We, no, we don't need a mana cart. Oh, you're right, we do have two mares. You're right, I'm gonna sell the oldest mare. Okay, let's do this. TV for the nursery. Does that work? Forget, let's find out. We can put some cartoons on. Oh, I don't, uh, I'd have to change other things. No, let's just do this. Okay, so to that, our wealth just took a slight dip down. Not enough to get us out of the everyone wants artificial body parts vibe, but you know, the idea is like, if you can keep your wealth low, you're kind of like, 
eliminating raiders before they ever show up. Why is it cheap to throw a party at Haunted House? Because the ghosts bring all the booze. Wow. Wow, amazing. Wow, terrible. I love it. Thank you. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I was going to say, you should be building these doors. You shouldn't have anything else going on. Oh, you're going to eat a meal and then rest. Listen, you walked all your way out here just to eat a meal without a table, and then you're going to bed. No, finish the goddamn door. Thank you. I'm going to flag this to be mined out. And then, yeah, we'll be rebuilding that soon. The hall button? The high priority hall button isn't in vanilla? No. High priority hall is... Is that from the auto tool, or is it another mod? I don't remember. You can right-click on someone and tell them to, like... So there's the regular hall for, for chunks, but then for something normally hallable, you can right-click and tell them to prioritize hall hey, or something. Hey, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. We done. Kimchi! Hey, thanks for the sub! Ooh, kimchi. Mm. Yeah, I think it is a loud tool. That adds the high-priority hall. It also adds the vein mining, which I like a lot. I'm still going to go and mine everything out that's right here for now. I was really, these, This exploratory tunnel did great things for us. Uh, this makes surprising sense. Uh, well, oh, you were responding to Soul about something. A second thing, the post to put climate control in the nursery so babies can yield more meat in the future for cooking. Wait, I... I huh. I'm not... Huh. But we should have some vents. Absolutely. And you know what? I'm going to get another vent over here, too. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Another new subscriber. Back off, Gaios. Thank you very much. Are you guys trying to keep me streaming? I'm supposed to stop my stream, but... I guess we should go for another couple of minutes. Just one more turn, right? Zapper with a inspiration for... You know, it'd be that much easier to recruit Port over here. But we're not gonna. Capture the excavator. Never stop. Six more turns. Just one more hour. Secret terminal. Oh, it's another quest for a really awesome laser. Well, we'll accept it and add it to the thing because there's no timeout for that. Oh, man. Legendary pulse rifle. It's gonna be so good for damage. Biochem roof might be only good. Kinda want carpets. Um da -da 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 -da. biofuel refinery. Down over there. What's the laser do? It's it's just a um it's just a pulse laser. So it's just a it's just this it's um charge shot assault rifle. Yeah, it's just a pulse charge laser. That's all. But it's one of our ideologies um, relics. So it guarantees it counts as a legendary weapon. So it's a legendary pulse rifle that we can get just by doing questing. And pulse rifles are probably the the kind of top end weapon in terms of things that are kind of craftable in, in that area. Um, you know, technically there's things that have slightly longer range or maybe specialized, but the pulse rifle is pretty good for kind of all cases. If all my people were, ha were equipped with pulse rifles, I'd be really happy. Um, and so, and legendary weapons, weapon quality makes a massive di difference to their accuracy and damage. So the fact that it's a legendary pulse rifle, it's gonna obliterate people. So yeah, so we'll get that mined out. We'll plan to finish off the wall over there. Um, and then, yeah, we'll fill in this gap until it's broken. Yeah, it does have a limited durability, but still. It's going to last for a very long time. I'm not concerned. Who binge? Hideous environment. Oh, I think Rhyme was mining out here, and those environments are considered pretty ugly. Also, I suppose we could do with a little bit of extra cleaning inside the base. Like, maybe everyone should be on, like, a clean two priority for now. Once they're done their absolute priority job, go and clean up a little bit. Yeah, Persona weapons. Yeah, I'm on the talking about kind of range and things like that. For melee, the best craftable melee weapons tend to be considered uranium might maces and plasteel longswords. They have slightly different cases where they're better than one another, but they're both really strong. But the Persona weapons beat them, in which case probably the mono sword for pure damage, but the Zeus hammer is pretty good, especially versus mechanoids because it can stun. Yeah, we could put a pinhole where they're mining, which at least will eliminate the darkness debuff, but they'll still be unhappy. But they're nearly done this job. Although, you know what? No, let's do it, because we're going to do some constructing over here, too. Oh, there you go. Because, yeah, when Valinor or whoever comes over here and constructs the walls after, then, yeah. 
Someone mentioned it's always raining in this map. I think they're right. It's like England or the Pacific Northwest. A little bit. That's why we have vampires. It's just like Twilight. We're in Forks. Forks, Washington, baby. I enjoy Twilight, and I will never apologize for it. I think I like all vampire things. And they all have very different vibes. My favorite vampire movie is Blood and Donuts. And no one would argue that it's a good movie, Blood and Donuts, but I love it. That's what it is. It's about enjoying... The thing is... I think vampire stuff, there has to be a certain amount of, like, kind of... What am I looking for? Not cheesiness, hokiness. Campiness. It's, it, if it doesn't... If it takes itself too seriously... No, you've, had, you've got to embrace, like, the stereotypes in the camp. <laughs> I've actually never watched True Blood, and I really have to. I really have to. <laughs> uh, growing up, um, one of my favorite TV shows was... Um, was it called Dark Knight? That's, that's how it... I mean, with a K? Am I thinking... No, I mean, obviously... Uh, no, it wasn't Dark Knight. It was... What's the cop show? Canadian? Well, it was filmed in Canada. It was all over. Night. Vampire TV show. Night. Something. Yeah, with Forever Night! There it is. Sorry, someone in chat probably said it, but I had a different type of. Forever Night. It still sort of holds up, mostly. It's a, it was a cop show. So Forever Night's Canadian television series about Nick Knight, an 800-year-old vampire working as a police detective in modern-day Toronto, Ontario. Now, that being said, they don't really, they're not really explicit about it. Um, and um, it definitely aired in the U.S. and was fairly popular there. It also aired in Europe. Apparently, the European version had a bunch of nudity in it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's like, you know, they don't hide it. Like, when they go to court, you have, like, the Seal of Ontario in the background. But they're not being like, let's go to the CN Tower, eh? And, and all this. Sort of generic. So it's, it's, it's in the 90s. Ran from 92 to 96. Um, and yeah. Great. <laughs> I loved it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I need... I'm, I'm Right now, I'm just backfilling in some tech while I, like, wait to get the, um, the micro generator. I don't know if I can do smoke talk bells. They're pretty good, but... We could be ready for some high later. No, I'll, I'll just throw beer viewing in queue, technically to be there. But let's go and build. I really have to put a cut in this. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping all over a Kiss for Luck stream too. High tech workbench over there. Oh, I can't put two because they're going to overlap their work spots. Okay, we'll figure something else out later. Mm -hmm. For true campiness in movies, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Right, exactly. Exactly. I mean, one of the things that made Buffy so great is it had a brilliant story and plot and character development that was just absolute through the roof. And it was hilarious, right? Kind of the same with uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They like, they, they embrace some of those, those moments of cheese. Okay, we're going to fill those in. Some of it can't be reached right now, but it will be once it's uh, the mining reach there. I also want to go and fill in this because it's a little close to our wall. So yeah, just do that. Quite like Angel. Angel was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Arguably purely as a kind of a show, like episode to episode, some people say like the angel might have been a little bit better, but the overall like plot of, of Buffy is just like something something else. I mean with Angel some things were a little bit more serious. So if you're into a little bit more serious, there might have been an extra appeal. But you can not like you can watch Bu Angel without Buffy. And there's a reason Buffy's like oh, one of the best shows of all times. God damn it! Randy! I need this food! said everyone go and cut this before it spreads how many blights have we freaking had in this game i really have to split up my rice patties a little bit more here so that the blights don't hit as many things simultaneously that hit a lot of plants oh all right let me take this zone I'm going to shrink it. Rice plant. And then I'm going to put a division crop in here. I'm just going to put a little more cotton. I don't know how the, the plague actually spreads. 
but I think if the same type of plant isn't adjacent, it won't spread. Yeah, mix in some other plants, yeah. So it's gonna be rice, rice, and then a dividing layer of cotton. Maybe just leaving a gap is enough, but I may as well use the space there. Okay, the Gauronlin pod, which I never say right. I don't know if we'll plant it. We will harvest it. We might just sell it for like 50 bucks. There we go. Coming in. I mean, we're adding wealth by mining all this material too, so that's not necessarily helping. Okay, I'm not going to set anything for research right now. Oh, wait, is this built? Oh, it is built. So, I am actually going to go and start researching medicine, gene, hospital beds, gene processors. Let's wait. I'm going to maybe grab hospital beds real quick. Growing bats. We could grow our kids quicker. Let me get this first. Uh, I'm going to go and tear down these research benches. We'll get some of the material back. But yeah, unless we're researching low-tech stuff, they're not going to help anymore. Sandstone meteorite, we can ignore this. We don't have sleep... Ex we might have the tech now, I'm not sure. Our people aren't demanding that yet. Um, that's not actually Overhead Mountain, but I'll go and seal that in anyway, because it's going to be weird. There we go. We can, all, we can fill this in to count as kind of double wall stuff as well later, too. Okay. Do a grid of one by one plant plots with no two next to each other. There's an ego complete production. Oh my god. I need a mod to like auto lay that out and do all the clicks for me. Sarge needs his death rest. Right. Okay. Let me read this. An enclosed med cas casket that accelerates the process of death rest. It can connect to other devices that confer additional bonuses in death rest. Number of devices that can connect depend on the person's death rest capacity, which can be seen by selecting. Only those with the death rest gene can use the casket. I'm hoping this is movable after it's built. I don't know if, like, building it in a room ruins things. I'll put it in the hospital for now because it kind of makes sense. not that expensive it can be reinstalled good and it's not that expensive if we tore it down we wouldn't lose that much important stuff uh we don't have enough components stored but there are actually enough components on the map so that's gonna be okay valinor calling blocks yeah which actually Fair. We do want that to finish, but no, I actually don't mind maybe leaving the plant pit up here. I guess it, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter for the people who um, they might want to keep it off, like the shitty people when we're chopping down trees to get more wood. But I think it's actually probably fine. Okay, so. Still have your old bed, which is good. Can the rest of these be rebuilt? Oh, we need to be okay, I'm not going to do that now. But. Sarge, if I reset you? No? Yeah, I'm sure you'd do it on your own. But I'll get you to start your bed rest. Your death rest. Okay. All right. I think with that, we're going to go put in a cut. Because we're in a fairly stable and safe situation here. Uh, I can remove that door now, and this one, that's gonna be okay, and yeah, wait for that to get filled in, that's gonna be fine, wait for this to get filled in, we'll do a little bit more, but things are enclosed, awesome, okay, great time, yeah, we're gonna put a cut in here, folks, thanks a lot for watching, our next live stream is gonna be on Monday, where I think we're gonna be playing more Victoria 3, uh, on Monday and Wednesday, and I think Thursday is gonna have an extra stream for us sponsored game I have to double check make sure the details are okay but there might be a bonus stream this Thursday but yeah Monday Wednesday Victoria 3 Italy next Saturday more RimWorld right now we're gonna raid his Felux channel uh, I'm suspected playing some Among Us over there so we can see uh, who's guilty of being whatever but uh, yeah we'll see you in a couple of days bye everyone give a uh, give a cusp Felux stream some love thank you bye bye